Oh, um, hello everybody. Yeah, I haven't done a video, and yeah, I forgot to do the whole thumbnail at the start and all the rest of it. Um, I yesterday I was really unwell, um, and I think I think the adverts are playing actually as it goes. So just hold on two secs. <laughs> And we shall start again. <laughs> can, can, can everybody see us and hear us okay and all the rest of it? Please let me know in those comments. Um, that'd be absolutely awesome. Can everybody hear us, see us? Is, is, is it working? <clears throat> uh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I'll just start again. So I haven't been very well over the last couple of days. Um, yesterday, just I was just in bed the whole day. Um, I, I think a 24 slash 48 hour bug literally just took me off my feet. So I do apologize for not having the old videos and stuff set up like I normally do at the start. And uh, <laughs> I've just been absolutely knackered. So, um, and in fact, I've spent half of today in bed as well because I've, I've not been too great this morning. Got up, I think, about two o'clock this afternoon and gave myself a kick up the ass. Um, but yeah, we're we're all goodish now. So hopefully, hopefully tomorrow I'll be back to full fours. But poor Tara, she's had to run around after me. Hmm. <laughs> what happened as Scott came on my phone and it went to Wish, says Joe. If you if, were you searching for Conor McGregor's dad from Wish, because I normally come up when you do that, when you do search on there. Hey, Hannah, you okay? Hi, Craig. Hey, Alec. Hey, Joe. Hey, Amy. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Craig the Cringe. <laughs> hey, Anthony. Anthony says hello all the way from Bulgaria. Nice one, dude. Hey, Torbay. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Trond. Hopefully, I think we've just about got everybody. Hello, everyone. Hey. Bastion's been a channel member for 20 months. Says, what, what nice one, Bastion. Hey, April. Hey, Mike. Hey, Bailey's bug blog. Up, he says, up, down, down, left. It was up, C, left, C, right, C, down, C, A start, wasn't it, for Sonic? Hey, Mark. I, I, <laughs> A8 converter man. Hi, Victoria, as well. Amy's been a channel member for 15 months as well. My God. Hey, Mad Manx. Support is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Hello. So we're, tonight we're doing an open mic night with a bit of Q&A again. Um, nice and easy one, basically, this evening, because I'm not at 100%, as you probably can guess. So I'm going to drop the... Infinite Live says Bailey's blog. It was on Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, Dale. Hale says, what up? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to uh, Q&A. We're going to tell you a little bit about the giveaway that's happening next week as well. Um, I think a lot of people read the thumbnail for tonight and then messaged me saying, is it the giveaway tonight? And I was like, no, the thumbnail says 10K giveaway details. So actually, the giveaway is going to be a week today. Um, and there is so much stuff being given away. It's incredible. I mean, the love and the support that's come through on that is absolutely crazy. Oh, nice one, Amy, which is Night Owl Crystals and Creations. Also, also donated to the to the giveaway. Please check her out on TikTok. Bastion says, Ling, Ling, Trond, Eric, Craig. Oh, my God. Bastion says hello to everybody. Hey, fun with fangs. <coughs> I had, I had, hey, ads. <laughs> Let me just whack that in again. So many people. I, I had, I had my first bit of hate on Facebook today. <laughs> so, 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 somebody being a bit nasty towards me. Oh. <laughs> what, what did they say? <laughs> I, I did I did a mystery box unboxing and a centipede was labelled as a species brown. So apparently I was misguiding people. I opened a box, took it out and went, oh, it says species brown, and then put it back down again. How does that make giving misinformation about a centipede? Does it say it on the, la on the label? Yeah. There you go then. You're only reading what was written. 
<laughs> I was just like, what, really? And uh, and they put it up, and they put it up, and they've actually blocked me. So somebody else sent me a screenshot, and I was like, oh, I ain't even bothered. Where's Latvian? Like, I replaced him. <laughs> hey, Danny B. Hey, Stu. Hey, Josh. Josh, I hope you get better soon, dude. Sorry for the short messages today on Facebook. Um, I just haven't had had a lot of time today. Um, basically, just curled up, curled up in a little ball on the bed, feeling sorry for myself. Um, the Latvian is on his way back from um, Wales, so he should he should probably he'll probably come on in about an hour, and then in true in true Chris style, he'll probably say, "I am tired, I am going," and disappear again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's just like well ev every the, i think the point was this person one doesn't like cftn and it and two is very jealous about another scorpion keeper and because i'm good friends with cftn lot and obviously i'm good friends with the the scorpion keeper boom i get a bit of the crap too but what off a box back run you know um but the funny thing is when somebody refers to something as being a species, that's because that species or that invert hasn't been described by um, taxonomists as yet. So what else do we do? What else do you call it? Do you just go centipede? Or or do you try and get as close to the genus as what you actually think it is and then call it that what the locals call it, which is species brown? Or do you just put it out there with no names on it at all? Um, you could have called, called it the... Uh... The Scott feed. The Scott feed. Well, look at species. <laughs> species electric blue was species electric blue until somebody described it. So it's like, well, why didn't this person say the same thing about every every species or everything that's listed as species in the hobby? Um, but no, he, he target myself. But what if a duck's back, man? You know what I mean? I've had far worse set my way in my time, I'll tell you. Um, if clearly name it after your cat. <laughs> Oh my God! Bailey said, "Yeah, like chili brackies, etc." Et you didn't have a cat, did you? No, no. I'm, I'm, mm, I'm gonna upset everybody. I, I don't, I don't exactly like cats. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a cat person. Um, my mum, my mum, kind of Tasker species, yam yam. Bailey, I'm not from Birmingham. I'm from Cov. Well, I'm not actually originally from Cov, but you know what I mean. Uh, Chris has, Tara's called me far worse than what Chris has ever done. <laughs> and as a lot of you know, um, a previous <laughs> live, yeah. <laughs> Bad Scott, at least you like dogs. I do, I do, Eric. I do love dogs. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> Osmus says, don't like cats unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Osman, but does the Dave's Little Beasties mug get the subscription back again? <laughs> hey, bedroom <laughs> breeder. <laughs> oh, my word. Anyway, invert news. Let's move on to invert news. Has anybody got anything going on um, in the hobby? Have you guys been breeding anything at home? Have you had anything delivered or anything like that? Let me know in the comments and we will um, give it a good shout out. Hey, hey Chantal, all the way from Canada. My right. word. Hey, Frugal. Josh has got an American Bulldog cross staff. Nice. Nice. I ain't got Bradley. anything new. Somebody. Hello, Tron. Hey, Tron. Hello. Hello. On, on tonight's live with Scott Inverted, see how long it takes before Tron falls asleep. <laughs> he, was, he, was looking, he was looking spiffing today in his hard hat jiving <laughs> Amy's pairing up jumping spiders uh, the Floridas and the Amorpheus the Bumblebee nice nice Joe's just paid his card today a few more days I'll be online tarantula hunting <laughs> nice. I like that Pay, pays his card off and then go ooh Actually, I can use it again. <laughs> um, what else have we got? Hey, Lewis. Bailey's got new cat, old cat. Then receiving the slings I forgot to pick up at the Barnsley show. 
But do yeah, do I mean, know what Spa has got for BTS? No, no. Um, Luke, <laughs> <laughs> Luke and his dad keep keep their stuff that they've got for BTS uh, an absolute high class secret, um, and there's no way any of us are going to find out unless Luke tells us or or it's on the day like. But you know it's going to be like a, a showstopper, as it always is. Save your pennies for the mystery boxes. Oh, God, yeah. Josh has got a giant baby. Ty Forest scorpions do any, any day. So his Ty Forest is gravid, and he's waiting for those to drop, which is going to be absolutely awesome. Oh, night, Amy. Hope you're okay. Osmond has... New stuff. Osman's bought just about every spoiler to go in. He's bought a heart bacteria Bavinia, heart bacteria dictator, a chili brachios discolors black, a vicularia velutina, a vicularia uh, brauna hansi, a vicularia marone, and a vicularia minatrax this week. I bet everybody's just laughing at me trying to pronounce all those. Then. <laughs> I'm like, is it, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? Michael's got uh, delivery coming. Ads has got a P Victoria mail will be available next week. Week four weeks fresh. And if you haven't got female, Bug not are selling females currently. We're seeing that up. Michael says TSS. What was that one? Michael's Ooh. got a TSS delivery coming tomorrow. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, Bailey's book blog we've got the Imira sling Jew, a few true trues. He was also looking at the show. Bailey loves those trues. Bedroom B there has got a Avic not coming to me. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. True Glinvert Keeper, is there such a thing as a white tarantula? Not that I know of. But there, the, you, what you've got, Ling, you've got Ads, you've got Osman, you've got quite a few people in chat that if there is one, no doubt it'll pop up somewhere. <laughs> Hello, Chris. <laughs> I thought, what have you done to your hair? Look, I, can, I can comb my beard for your Friday night lives. Do you know what I mean? You can at least comb your hair. Fuck you. <laughs> Language. Apologies. Um, a rat <laughs> sorry, Ratnophoria. Um got Balfouri communal times ten, P Regalis, uh Sudu Haploper species Columbras, what nice. Bedroom breed and he's a mature male Vic. Tucker picked up a Bracky Palma or eight um sling at the weekend. OBT yeah. recently malted. How was the drive, Chris? Good, especially with all that lot in the fucking car. Stop swearing, it's not nine o'clock. <laughs> Is it? Well, I got what, what, one of my friends, right? A real, real, a real close friend of mine, yeah. She was like, I've just got this new boyfriend, he's Latvian. And I went, Does he swear a lot? She went, Yes. I went, Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's normal. Yeah. I said, does he get the, the uh, UK sarcasm? She was like, not one bit. I was like, yeah, that's normal too. What have you picked up then, Chris? A lot. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a little little cheeky. No, yeah. No, he, won't let you. he won't let you. <laughs> he goes off, buys some of his collection, comes back. It's sitting right behind him and he won't show us. No. Two collections in two days. <laughs> Did you get those ones from Birmingham? Was that yesterday? Yeah, well, day before. And then I picked up this collection yesterday. Oh, Eric says, insect news. I've got some fun mushrooms in one of my tanks that grow, grows up during the night and dies in the, during the day. Mm. I've forgotten what they're called. I always, uh, I always get a bit worried when I see a mushroom growing. In, in one of the tanks. Not not because I think oh, it's toxic or this sound of it. It's just like if the spores get in the air, I always think I've done enough damage to my lungs over the years without breathing those in as well. 
Josh is picking up a cryptic het pied het clown royal python on the 12th. Wow. Say that again, Scott. Uh, it's picking. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is picking up a cryptic het pied het clown royal python. <laughs> oh my god. Scott, need help finding female uh, Panay blue. Hey, exotic enclosures. Who's got the Panay blues? Who, who's, who's got, has anybody got those for sale currently? Chris, CFTN got any of them? Not sure. Send me a message, I'll have a look. Okay. I shall send you a message in a little while. I'll probably reply in about three years, but don't worry about it. Hey, Rebecca. Three years? More like six. What? More like six. Rebecca. Oh, same thing. Latvia has no emotions. Am I going to the Brighton show, says Josh. Yes, dude. Um, I'm going to be all of them. I'm going to try and get to the the Glasgow one, so I'm going to all the invert shows, UK ones, and the BTS, and obviously Phil's show. I have a mature male and some slings grown on from Mitch. I haven't seen um, available, but need a sub or mature female. Ah, uh, from... was that from Gavin's Breeders? If I remember right, might have been, might not have been, might have got it wrong. I don't know. Hey, Alan. <laughs> Hi Ellen. It's strange how we get so much hate if two curly hairs aren't the same, but you can mix a snake with ice cream to get a weird morph and everyone is a April and I know. I know. It, it's a bit of a weird world we live in. We can cross like you can crossbreed your dogs, your reptiles, and you even think about it with spiders and everybody goes crazy. <coughs> um but even when it comes to to snakes and stuff, I think probably most of us in on screen and in chat prefer the na natural ones anyway, don't we? What? When it comes to crossbreeding, um, April and Mike just are on about the crossbreeding and the reptiles that they do. Yeah. And then if you even thought about doing it in the hobby with our spiders, people would go crazy. I'm not a fan of the morphs in the in the reptile hobby. Oh my god, DK Dragon. They're just she just put hello, just joined. I read that as hello, just stoned for a second. I still apologize. <laughs> you got any other news apart from those, Chris? You breed what you're breeding on Friday, dude. Uh, you'll have to tune in and see. <laughs> All right, so Chris is breeding curly hairs on Friday. Don't bother tuning in. <laughs> Actually, no, not this Friday. Then my next Friday. <laughs> what are you doing this Friday? LPs. Maybe. Any anything else other than LPs? Uh, some, um, sure. Oh yeah, 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 he's got a bit quiet. That means he's got some else up his sleeve for Friday. You got um, unicorn. Bedroom breeder says we've got they've got loads to pair. Hey, oh, Phil, that Simani male didn't even do one female. <laughs> what did the female smash up? Him. Yeah. 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 Got it. Hey, Jason. She Jason was the same time. At the same time. She was very aggressive afterwards. She didn't like him taking his time. Nice one, Josh. Oh. Yeah, for anybody that's just just joined, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not firing all six engines on all six pistons tonight. I, I'm I'm still a little bit on wild from yesterday. Um, so please bear with us this evening. Um, but tonight is open my night as you guys know so i'll put the link in the chat every now and again for you guys to come up and have a chat with us and we're also doing a little bit of a q a um but i had a little idea about the q a because it's always questions like scott you know do you keep this chris do, have you ever done this with your spider ling what's one of this you know tron scorpion it's always that so i thought let's ask you guys some questions and see what your answers are in those comments as well as hey derek as well as this evening, we're also going to be letting you guys know 
Um, what's available to win on the 10K subscriber giveaway? When is that happening and how is it happening? Um, so that is happening a week today. So a week today, at eight o'clock, it's going to be a live stream like we've done in the past. So we'll put um, we'll put a word out and you put the word in the comments and um, StreamYard collects all together and pick, picks a winner. But you guys are going to be more interested in 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 the actual prizes. Um, now all these people are absolutely amazing. They've um, I've not actually asked any of them either. They've all come forward from their own behalf, which makes it even more special. So if they have got channels or websites or anything like that, please go check them all out. And uh, I think Linga, have you got a, got them all rolled down? What? Yeah. Would you mind, please? What do you want me to read out who they are and the prizes? Yeah, if that's all right. Okay, so we have Helen, who's got locusts. Jeremy from Jeremy's Wild World is five rubber duckies, which will be collection. Uh, Re Rebel Regis. I don't know what these are. <laughs> it's it's the um, the plastic toy, the big the big toy. Oh right, okay. <laughs> they're, they're about this big and and they're like flexible. They're pretty cool. Hey, Stefan. Okay. So it's a ducker's dungo <laughs> mushy. <laughs> uh, Jackie has got his saroches. Tarantula Ricky is beanie. One of his beanies. Johnny, adult and nymph pusses. Hannah, I can't say what Hannah's is until nine o'clock. But it's, uh, it's, it's an it's isopod a mystery box. But it's in true Hannah style, Tuesday there is a one. swear word. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Amy's night crystals is a mix of inverts and crystals with possibly peeds. Um, SS <coughs> 3D is a 3D mystery box. Silver spiders, Cameroon crab slings, eight legged emporium. There's a couple of H. Pocopies in there. Unseen universe is two 25 pound mystery boxes to give away. DB is a 50 pound post pod mystery box. Exotic enclosures is an acrylic tank. Spiderling and Chris is a uh, Melopeus Albo Striatum. Um, Sabad out, and I've got a sex it for you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's female. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be good. Um, then we've got Mark and Vicky A8 Nano Wide, Bug Print, Jumping Spider and Jumping Spider Starter Kit. I can't remember. Um, Natalie's changed her name. Afterlife Artistry. Afterlife Artistry, you get a tarantula dome. DK's so, Kingdom is a Wild Tees mystery box. Jason Art, signed by the winner's choice of whatever they would like uh, drawn. Mark the Spider Guy is a Balfe Communal. Unusual Pets and Crafts is a £100 mystery box. Bastion is given a £100 spider shop in Poland plus some juvies and Kevin Bigley a 200 pound mystery box which includes something very very special extremely special, very um, special. yeah silver web is sorry back on um, what did I what did I say did I say silver spiders again <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it just goes straight to silver spiders do apologize <laughs> silver webbers <laughs> <laughs> hey hey Kelly Hey, Ian. Oh, Arachnophoria. I'll donate a 20 by 20 custom Exoterra lid, the new style as well. Uh, you write, on. write that one down. I'm, write it down. I am doing a little thing with, with them, and I've not really spoke about it, but something's coming this week. And um, if the video don't come out on Thursday, I'll do the video for Saturday. But... Um, a lot of people in the hobby are, are a bit concerned with exoterras and the mesh lids. Um, I think there's been a couple of people said that the the pores can get stuck on the mesh lids. Um, what these guys have done is changed the lids completely. They can customise them with your names on top and all sorts. And instead of it being mesh, they're actually acrylic. Um, but the best bit is the two acrylic sections that slide in can actually slide back out again. So you can have ones with tons of holes. You can have ones with not as many holes. And then you can have ones with minimal holes, depending on what humidity levels that you require in your tank. 
I think it is a flipping brilliant idea. Really, really do like the idea. Um, it, it, it keeps the prices as, poss- as low as possible. We had a little bit of a conversation over Facebook about it. Um, and he's just generally a nice guy as well. But I think the whole idea of that is wicked. I mean, I know people were, were literally cutting out pieces of plastic to actually, acrylic, sorry, to fit in the top of the Exoterra. But this actually replaces the whole Exoterra lid, which is pretty impressive. And they look wicked. It's If you want like um, a custom name on the top of those, you can. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, that is that's what's going to be given away next week. Um, there is there is two more things to go on there, but I think we'll mention those next week. Um, it's going to be pretty damn cool. Scott, yes, John. Look at your messenger. You you better not be sending me them pictures again. Oh yeah. Bedroom breeder, where's the party at the night before BTS, Scott? Um, it dip. It depends where everybody's, where all the sellers are going, and where wherever all the sellers go. So Chris will probably know better than me. And then once that pub shuts, we will then go into town, and I'll take <laughs> over on that part and take you to a wicked nightclub. Blah blah blah. Trond has sent me a picture. Can you get it on the screen? Send it to me. Or. No, I'm flipping beautiful, but yeah, send it to send it to Chris. Hey, Jezza. Uh, I'm donating one for your giveaway. Really? Yep. Trond, you legend. Chris, is that the same pub as last year near the Holiday Inn? More than likely. Oh, hey, Tara. Hi. Oh my hey, god, boys. Hey, hey Matt. Right, hey, hey, the one by canal that was in um Leamington Spa. More than likely, I would have thought we would all be going to that one again. <laughs> but once that one shuts, there's um there's a, a nightclub over in Cobb if anybody wants to join us and go there as well. There you go. Luke was looking at different locations, so food was on offer. Yeah, they do food at that one. John, when I explain. Uh, so this is a uh, Norwegian Viking drinking horn made 100% of real horns with uh, uh, an handmade iron stand for it oh that's nice it'd be beautiful and there will awesome. be one up for grabs at scott's 10k giveaway nice very nice is that uh, any country or europe only or um any country. Oh. Try and do that. That is flipping awesome. Uh, hey, the trench on the shelf. In I don't. Europe, uh, it's preferred shipping in you to the UK. I can ship, or you can pick up at BTS. Or Bristol, whatever. Oh, it. even better. Chris, Chris is all over that one. <laughs> I don't drink giveaway, so. I'll, uh, I'll know that one for you. It's a bullhorn. He's got a, a horn. horn. I shove it up his butt. <laughs> yeah. uh, Josh <laughs> says, I just sent you a pic on Messenger of the pregnant scorpion. Scott, can you show on live? My God, let me just send it over to Chris. <laughs> um, that one. 
blah, give me blah, two blah. seconds. Blah, blah, blah. Just ignore him, he's useless. I'm old. You forgot the old bit. I can't say nothing, yeah. It's not like mm -hmm. I'll tell you what you are in 22 minutes. Hey, Bastion. Why? And now I can't, I can't find Scott's trying to figure out how this compute. No, it just doesn't like. Um... For some reason, Facebook's not finding you, Chris. Well, if I send it. I put it in. It put it in a joint chat, so it should come up for you now. Anyway, you got it. Why did you send me this? I just showed this. You were supposed to send me the fucking the the the, the scorpion. Oh, I did. No, you sent the horn. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Blood yeah, fest. give me two seconds. Ricky, Blood fest. <laughs> Oh, pardon me, people. This Scott's a bit useless today. I've been ill. What I've got an excuse, I still have. So, uh, yeah, you should have it now, anyway, Chris. Yeah, uh, Chantal says there's an expo here in Canada, and I'm picking up 12 tarantulas. And my male curly hair has found a girlfriend. Awesome. Uh, Bloodstock lineup is epic this year. Bloodfest is the women's meeting the week before, as you well know. Ah. I ain't going Bloodstock. The invert shows cost me enough. Do you know what I mean? I think Tyra would there hit the roof. There we go, Bloodfest. <clears throat> there we go. Oh. Mm. Nice one. Yeah, that looks pretty, pretty gravid. Exactly, that's, Bastion. <laughs> that's a chunky one. Whoop. There you go. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, yeah, that's what's up for grabs next week. Um, That live will be starting at 8 o'clock. And we'll be pretty much kicking it off with the first prize, probably going out the door at about quarter past, I would have thought, because um, there's quite a few. Um, and we can't be having it going on until three in the morning. <laughs> that is if Scott can be on time. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Christmas so giveaway. Oh, God. <laughs> the hour time, Scott. Hour time. <laughs> like, collective. The hour time. Like the collective, time, yeah. not Scott's time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late for everything. Yeah. Literally, yeah. literally everything. Um, but, yeah. Unfortunately, um, all the people that are in this, this giveaway um, are, all, are all like pretty good friends of mine and stuff like that and all real trustworthy people. Um, the Christmas giveaway, um, Ominous Inverts did a about, I don't know, I think they did like five isopod boxes or something and didn't send one of them out to anybody that won those. So all I can do is apologise for that. Um, and hopefully this time, well, I say hopefully, I know everybody on this one's absolutely spot on, so don't worry. But yeah, that's what happened with the Christmas one. What's the date of the giveaway, Chris? I'll definitely be there. So it's fun with fangs. It's a week today. So a week today. So this Tuesday coming, we'll be starting at eight o'clock. It will be um, my second day in the new job as well. To start on Monday. Uh, hey, nameless. Nice. Uh, Scott. Blonde. Since this is a Q and A, quick question. Uh, when we talked about uh, those Viking axes. Hey, Runa. Uh, uh, 
Which style is your favorite, the traditional or the tomahawk shaped one? I've I've got um, I like the tr more traditional stuff because I think the tomahawk ones are they're not real proper Norwegian axes, are they? Uh, well, yes, I like I like the wooden handled job is. Ones that if you take into the woods, you could survive with for a few days. More so than the tomahawk, definitely. Um, cheers, form with Fang. Jason says, what's the new job doing? Um, okay, so the new job, I used to do hydraulics a few years ago. And um, ended up coming away from there for a little bit and the problem with that was i went self-employed for probably about a year but didn't get enough work so the family we were like you know pretty much struggling all the time so then i went to work for costa coffee didn't enjoy it so i got a job with um, midland vehicle components which was just van driving for those guys absolutely amazing awesome company but it was only minimum wage so recently somebody from the hydraulics world reached out and said look we need an engineer in coventry um would you come back to it and i said well let's have a chat so we did and the pay offer and everything that they are offering is really really good so i'll be going back on building sites and in factories repairing um, all hydraulic any hydraulic issues that people have got with machines um, and, and plant basically and i cannot wait can't wait to be back on those spanners man it's gonna be awesome um Ron. hey bailey says this is bailey not me is it true in nordic countries they have axes that can be imbued with ice magic when you throw them they return back to your hand <laughs> no. that's uh as guardians not scandinavians I think, I think the way Tron did re retrieve the axe is pulling it back out of his skull. And probably yeah. after. Hey, Claire. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's uh, Asgard gods. They can do that. Apologize. Oh, dude. And. And yeah, that that traditional. I do get why I get awesome. the question, but yeah. Then have a quick. Yeah, traditional one looks wicked, Tron. Hey, Gwen. You okay. How is how is everybody in chat? Um. So yeah, Q and A. A lot, a lot of the time with the Q and A, you guys all ask us questions. So um, I'm going to ask all you guys, what's your favourite spot in your whole collection? Let us know in the comments, and we'll pick them out as we get on them. Uh, Scott. Yeah. Yes, dude. Guess how much? What for that? That that axe? Yeah. You got to be looking at about a grand and a half. Fifty-eight quid. Really? 60 quid? Handmade. Yes, handmade. Chris is going to be driving over to you and all that. <laughs> See that little grin on his face? He was like, what? <laughs> what? Oh, Joe's favourite spider in their collection is the Agen. Good choice. Good choice, Joe. Beautiful spider. Um, I think they're wonderful for any level of keeper as well. Um, Osmond says, the O oh, Ditch Rematus by far. Tara says, I need a chocolate tea. What? Yeah, what? chocolate tea. Cho mm. Chocolate, oh no, chocolate and tea. That's it. That's what she wants, bless her. Oh, okay. Fun with fangs is the favourite is the heart bacteria, pork repeats. 
which was the first one I got. Love him to pieces. Kelly's favourite, Marshelli. OBT for Tarantula Tom. Uh, Joe's is a Minax. Oh, Minax, man. Minax are a little bit of, bit of, bit of a spicy enough. character on the old Minax, aren't they? What's your favourite one you've got, Chris? What? Spider. All of them. Has you got one that sticks out more than anybody else? Any others? Be metallic. I'm on the same, man. I, 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 str I struggle. P Metallica. I struggle to pick a um, pick one. It's going to be P Metallica. Oh. Eric, I don't own too many spiders. My favourite is the Lazadora Parabama. She recently tried to open her enclosure door and escape, so I had to put a lock on it. <laughs> Everybody just assumes LPs are these docile little spiders that sit in the corner. Yeah. Uh, tarantula shelf. The favourite of the collection also belongs to Kelly, the Acelacosmia javanensis. Beautiful spider. I've got to kick this stand one more time. I've had a bit of a. I mean, you won't, you, you won't see obviously, but um, I keep all my spiders in my collection in my kitchen. And me and Tyra have had a complete rearrange of the kitchen today. My old desk gone, and there's like a, a new kitchen table in front of me, and it's all changed round. So I'm knocking everything over at the moment. Kelly's LP is a little bit crazy. Stu says the uh, B Classy, which is almost 20 years old now. Wow. All my spiders are my favourite. Yeah. Too right, Hannah. <laughs> <coughs> Helen, you have to be careful with the native jumping spiders because the what is one that's actually endangered. Um, and I cannot for the life of me remember which it is. You have to do a little bit of a Google. Um, but I don't I don't think you can actually keep them full stop. No, no. Uh Ratnophoria, their favourite is the T Celedonia. Seen it twice in 14 months, so we'll go with my Trix of Palma. Species golden blue, nice. My dad's got a P Metallica and he loves us so much. My P Metallica is literally just here, literally just there. Charlotte says the H. Paul Crepeast of the individual story, not the favorite species, is my crown cracker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a juvenile, um, heart bacteria, Paul Crepeast, into the giveaway from myself. Um, Danny B, I recently realised that a couple of my tarantulas which <laughs> I purchased at my first two invert shows weren't what they claimed to be. I wasn't happy. After the two collections I picked up, Ooh. every single one is female, not a single male. <sighs> that's fucking. That's sixteen females added to collection. Yeah. Jeremy says, I think you all know what my favourite spiders are. Yeah, curly ass. Jeremy loves cur curly ass. <laughs> Another 16 females, Chris. You don't need all that. Oops. <laughs> Where did he go? That went quick. One of his batteries just died. died. Michael says, I have a couple of favourites in the collection. I need them all. Ready for dinner? No. There are rare. Uh, what, what What? did you say again, Chris? Sorry. He said he needs them all. Literally, every single one. How many did you have, Chris, when, when me and you first started trying? How many spiders? Yeah. <laughs> 300 something when we first started chatting no about two three hundred yeah between two three hundred oh, chris, chris you do realize pokemon is a show and tarantulas aren't pokemons is it nobody's told me that <laughs> The good thing with Chris having so many females is he, <laughs> if he finds the males and then breeds, then that drops the price in the UK hobby. 
This is going to be a lot. <laughs> Cheers, Helen. Um, Helen, if you if you refresh the page, there's like 31 likes, not 11. Aurora is like, a distinguished jumper is rare. None of the UK ones are endangered, though. Oh, I was misinformed. Cheers, Aurora. Appreciate that. I don't want a Cadbury's cream egg. I'm fat enough. One second. No. Chris, gonna... Tron, yeah. Yeah. If, you want, if, if you want some decent stickers, where'd you go? Aruna Exotics. Aruna Exotics. I need to contact Claire to have the new logo done, actually. Um, <coughs> ready for BTS. Mm -hmm, so, <coughs> Claire, I will be dropping you a message pretty soon to see if you can do that one for me. Hey, Leah, unusual pets is in the house. Hey, Philip Fish. Hey, Philip. <clears throat> and what we'll do is just pre-warn you that come nine o'clock um that is our watershed so at that time we do swear we do have adult conversation um so there could be some swear words well there will definitely be some swear words coming from chris so if you've got any if you've got any kids or anything watching come nine o'clock probably best just to remove them or, or turn, turn it off, whatever you want to do. Just um, that time, like I said, we do start swearing. And Chris, don't off, kick it off with a bang. Links now in chat. Links just popped off to sort something, so. Hey, love at first bite. Hey, babe. I wonder who that is. Who's that, Trond? Who's, who's love at first bite? Mm. <laughs> how do you find how do you deal with a long distance relationship from is it just lots of video calls mm, yeah lots of messages lots of video calls yeah and the basic to get it to work because of the long distance you need trust and respect so. Well, to be fair, if you haven't got trust in the respect, there's no point getting into a relationship with that person no. anyway, is there? No. But it needs to be high in a long distance relationship. If you live together, it's much, much easier to work around. Oh. What did that it, mean? The best, the best thing about living with your missus is. is Oh. oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny makes me cups of tea on a Tuesday. You lying. You can't you swear, it's not nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Tara, I'll tell him who he is in four <laughs> minutes. It'll be twice as bad now, oh Chris, thanks. That's nine PM. <laughs> so yeah, that that's the yeah, that's that's what's happening next week. Is the, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tyra's just said to me, she said, does it feel a little bit weird now we've had a change around? I'm like, yeah, completely. I feel, I feel like, because you guys won't see it, but behind the camera, the desk's changed and the desk's come out of the kitchen and we've put one of those fold away kitchen tables there instead and stuff like that um, and move, move stuff around. So it just, it just making me feel a little bit uncomfortable at the moment. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, I'm still feeling a little unwell, so. Oh, who's ordering? April and Mike's rank this. Don't trust Mike to not buy any tarantulas, and I don't respect his decisions about ordering more. <laughs> I think you've just given up now, haven't you? Mm -hmm. 
I think I think I think Tara just knows that there's there's shows on. I want to go to a show and buy a spider or two. Or I'm not as bad as Chris. Yeah, all right then. Chris, how many spiders have you got in your collection now? Over a thousand. Told you. He's got space for now. If you haven't. I have a shed. Chris, single-handedly built that shed. Flipping amazing. I don't know how you guys do the long distance. I found it hard with Jay in Norway most of this year. Yeah, there is a little bit more room, Craig. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's me, more room now that I've made it. I think me, me and Tara, like, almost seven years ago, we, we started seeing each other, and then we moved in after, We moved in with each other after a few days, didn't we? How long was it? Was it, like, two days, three days? No, you went home the first night, come back the second night, and haven't left. Yeah, that's it. So when me and Tara first got together, that first night I went home, the second night, that was it. We just lived together from that moment on. Crazy, isn't it? Um, and everybody says, don't rush, fall into a relationship, and this, that, and so that. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it does work. Almost seven <laughs> years now. Nearly two years married. Job done. <laughs> you got any invert news this week, Tron? Um, not quite sure. I have a few things on order that I hope will arrive this week. Uh, I have a new Solopeus tarantula coming. Uh, Ooh, which one, the... Hey, Lindsay. What's it? Uh, Emania, something like um, that. Tiger Rump. Venezuelan Sun Tiger, that's the Emania. Yeah, that's the one. You're a fucking wanker. Shoot your fucking mouth, you ungrateful fucking bitch. Your wife makes you coffee all the time. She's sitting there like that going. <laughs> She's laughing her tits off at me now. Thanks. Thanks. Well, Cheers for backing her up, Chris. Do you know what I mean? Chris, you're supposed to be a brother. You're supposed to have my back, not hers. Nah, no. That's not how it works. <laughs> Charlotte says, ba I basically did. Stayed at my partner's every night for a year, then moved in together as soon as my lease ran out. Kelly also moved in and then seven years all together. Michael says the night and moist the clock here, Scott's a wanker. Craig's Craig Will says Scott's a wanker. Oh god. Um, yeah. <laughs> Have you not noticed the new edition for your chat? Oh god. <laughs> Tara snuffed this picture of us from literally almost seven years ago, that is. Aww. Look, she she she's like a wine. She as she gets older, she age she's aging beautifully. Me on the other hand, not so good. <laughs> well Best if you shave great. that beard, I guess you will like tan again. Not happening. Not happening. Just say. I would. <laughs> I I would I would cut it. I would cut it this much off, if 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 there was five thousand pound going into a charity pot for autism. That's the only time I would cut that much off my beard. Leah has been a channel member for twenty four months. Thank you, Leah. Which is unusual. Pets. Drop her a follow subscription. Uh, Scott is a wanker, but I love the one. <laughs> Oh, cheers, Eric. It is, it's a cool beard. It just does this a lot. It does that. It, like, it just wants to send a party yeah, all the time. Take one. If you want, I can send you some as well. I have loads in the cupboard. Are you wearing one too, then, Chris? Uh, I'm not you should grow yours long. You look cool. 
You'd look like a 10 year old if you shaved it off. I tell you what, I'll go back to the earlier videos and um, meet without a beard. I'm like, what What was I thinking? Why didn't I grow a beard? And it's a great diversion. You know, if you're a little bit ugly like myself, grow a beard and people look at your beard instead. And you get away with that, the fact that you, you know, like Tron needs one. I need what? A beard. A beard? Jackie's just become a channel member. Cheers, Jackie. Oh, Claire's been trying to deal with the boy. It's been a real rough time. Yeah. Yeah. Have you um, I don't... Comment? I don't think... Yeah, I don't think you're the only one, Claire. I think a lot of us have been having hey, issues with the, with the autism kids lately. Got yeah, because he's off school. Scott, have you put yeah. the link in the uh, comment? Sorry? Do you put? Do you want me to put the link in the comment? Yes, please, brother. Uh, Jackie says, YouTube unsubscribed. What? Hey, Tony. You okay? That's what I thought. When I read the comment, Jackie, I thought Jackie's already a channel member. What's going on? Feel free oh, to dear. join on the screen. And... Oh, no, um, the way it works is if you're not a channel member for more than two months afterwards, it unsubscribes you. Then you have to redo it all. Oh. Mine does it all the time. I think the best thing about the membership is the 15% off over at Spa Spiders. So if you want to put a massive order in with Spa Spiders, become a channel member just for one month and then cancel, but you still get 15% off at Spa Spiders for that month while you are a member. Oh, you're going one of them again. What? I just cracked open an Easter egg and she's got... You can get many, many eggs in She's got it, like a mini egg one. She's got about six in the... In the... <laughs> <laughs> it's only a bit old looking forward to. Oh, definitely, Claire. Definitely. Josh got to go up to the hospital again, struggling to breathe. Josh, I hope you're all right, dude. um josh please please drop me a message uh when you come back as well now even if it's three four in the morning i'll read it when i get up but yeah just so i know you're right dude <coughs> i don't know we've had we've had both our boys have just been a nightmare today haven't they just like well i say a nightmare they've just been over excited boys they're both lucky to still be alive and then beat each other. <laughs> seriously. Yeah. But it, it's, it's difficult to to know. And I'm sure Ling will say, probably say the same between is it boys just being boys or is it the actual autism side of them or what is it? What, have the boys did what? Sorry. Oh, we just, just, uh, just saying the boys... Claire's one was kicking off, ours was kicking off, yours was kicking off. Mine keep kicking off, so if I keep dipping, it's because I oh, yeah. See again, sorry. I it's, it's them. Ah, no worries. Yeah, it's um this one of them, isn't it? Just uh what the link into chat. If you want to follow that link and come and join us. Um, that'd be absolutely awesome. The StreamYard light link is really, really easy to follow. Just click on it. You get to kind of have, um, you get to see your own camera before you actually join the stream as well. So if you don't like what it is, you can always swap it around and play with your settings before mm -hmm. actually coming on. Um, hey, UK Exotics. Oh, I suppose. I oh, picked it up off your desk earlier and didn't know where to put it. Oh, okay. I put it on there and moved it back onto it. Okay. Um, another question for everybody watching is, where do you go for your spiders? Do you look at private sellers or who's your favourite? Who's your favourite supplier and why? Um, mine is literally Spa Spiders because I absolutely love Luke and his dad. Um, and and uh, from the word go, they've just become very close friends of mine. 
Tron, where do you go in Norway for yours? Tron, hello? Speaking of sleep. Oh, you're on your phone. Uh, Michael Taylor says, Spa Spiders in the Spider Shop. I tend to look for the spider that I want, says Hannah. Yeah, I get that. Joe says, Spa Spiders, 100%. Craig says, Spa Spiders, Luke is ace. Helen, I go Spa Spiders. <laughs> Shop. Michael, Tron was asleep. Tron was asleep until he got that phone call, wasn't he? See, look now. Now he's like, "Hello, I'm wide awake." Yes. Kel says we always get pictures from the north. Mystery boxes at the shows. Did you see my last one? Mixed invert one. Absolutely awesome. Centipedes, scorpions, spiders, including a burrow. Burrow, all for like a hundred quid. Oh, I'm still laughing. Absolutely laughing. Bargain. Tony, usually TSS, Creatures from the North for mystery boxes at every show I'm at. If you do go to the BTS and you want a mystery box, um, and you've probably seen me unbox a lot from CFTN and a lot of TSSs, um, but I would definitely be getting one from Luke because he always ups a game at BTS. I think he actually loses money. He must do. Um, but if you are at BTS and you want a CFTN mystery box, go see Chris. Chris can do magic things with those boxes. Here's Katie and Scouser. Hey, you okay? Hello, Katie. Hello, Katie. Hello, I'm going to have to go Spa Spiders and CFTN at BTS. Tell me if there's a certain spider that you're after, hook up Chris at um, CFTN. Blah, blah, blah. Houghton is one of the biggest shows in Europe, says Osman. That's where he goes. Uh, Kane in Scouser, I'm about 90% okay. I'm still, I weren't very well yesterday and still recovering today. So I still feel a bit, uh, a bit sicky. Uh. Craig says Chris went through every single mystery box for him at Barnsley to find him a good one. Lies. Craig, we're not allowed to say all that. That's supposed to be secret. Lies. Never happened. <laughs> Ellen said, don't like centipedes either, Carl, and I might have bastions if he gets it from back from the airport. What's wrong with centipedes? Centipedes are cool. They're disgusting. Is what's wrong with them? Yeah, Bastion went to Helen's yesterday. And I was supposed to go meet up with him. Um, and my, with my spider guy as well, but unfortunately I was not very well, so I couldn't make it. Michael Taylor says, when I'm invading Coventry, I might grab a Creatures from the North mystery box. Michael, again, just, just go see Chris. He's like um, a hyperactive Ribena Berry Bunny. Chris is a little bit reserved on the lives. And I mean this in best intentions as well. But when it comes to the shows, he is right out of there. Right out of there. Nameless Collector says centipedes are the best. What's Tara's favourite tarantula, Scott? Says Craig. Bird Boy's favourite spider. My favourite. Yeah. Um, She's having a think. Having a good thing. So far, she's looking at a scorpion and a true spider. Oh, no, she's climbing the rack in now. I have moved it, baby. Where are you going? Oh, the Amelia. We've got um, an adult female, Amelia, that we bought from Portsmouth Tranchers, Coventry Show last year. That's Tara's favourite. Oh, what, Claire? Claire says I've stopped reading jumpers and training at the shows. What? Gutted. Um, Helen, does Tara like centipedes? Not even in the slightest. 
She doesn't like UK centipedes. She doesn't like any centipedes. She's not a fan. When I first got the first centipede, she asked me to uh, give it back to the person I bought it from and told me never to buy any more again. But unfortunately for her, well, unfortunately for her, I love them. So that didn't happen. Uh, UK exotics. What do you think of kids and animals together? Depends on the age group. Um, generally, when there's kids, I, I always say supervised. Um, but then generally, when it comes to animals, it's, let, let's 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 change the word animal and say tarantulas. So old worlds and kids are a definite no-no. New worlds and kids always supervised is, is probably the best way I can say it. But I mean, you mean you guys know your children, so you guys know how well they interact um, around animals and spiders and things like that. You know what I mean? And nine times out of ten, our spiders are in enclosed boxes that they can't get out of. So there's nothing wrong with you bringing a child into the room where you've got your spiders and showing them. I often bring our Leo in here. Um, I can't do it when I'm filming or I can't be doing anything else other than Leo if I bring him in here to check out the spiders. But he will come in and have a look around. But I, do, I have to be so careful of where his hands are going um, because he will reach out and knock stuff off if he wants, if he, you know. What's that for, Helen? Centipedes. However, I Centip still don't know their breed. I think no, how they breed. It's centipedes. Still yeah. don't know. Yeah, I've got you. Yeah, she still doesn't know how they breed, as in centipedes, how they pair. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure Jez has did a decent video on that. Just got my nephew to stand and have a look at the tarantulas now, says Craig. I don't know, I mean, because the way the way my boys are, they can't come in here unsupervised. Um, and I couldn't have my collection in the front room around them either. Because you you take your eye off them and they would be knocking stuff off, um, more than likely accidentally, than anything. Um, but when they when they're in here one to one, so if I have if I have no or Leo on their own with me, they will sit and chill and they will watch and look around. Leo's not a fan of the tarantulas or the spiders, but he does like the ants, so the leaf cutting ants, and he also likes the isopods. Whereas Noah. He's not a fan of the bigger spiders. He really enjoys the slings, and he and they're all his baby spiders. He says. Claire says I'm still keeping a lot of inverts and jumpers. I've got an incubator full of various eggs, but Axel lost his sh shit after the last show. It's not fair on him. I can't do it to him. I will visit when I can. <clears throat> no, I, I understand that, Claire. I'm not going anywhere. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> Good. But she still is doing all the stickers. So if you want any of your stickers doing, hit Claire up. My little sister has a curly hair and a Somani. She's 12. She knows how to respect them. However, she has already mentioned wanting a pokey. She's going to be waiting a while until she gets one. Do, do you guys on, on screen as well in the comments, do you, do you think like old Will should come with maybe an over 18s certificate? You know, like, Jay, you can't... You, like, like you can't buy alcohol until you're 18. Do you think centipedes and old world tarantulas should fall under that type of a censorship? I do. I do. What do you I do. Definitely centipedes as well. What did I miss? Sorry, dude. Like, do you having, know old having... world? Go on, Ling. Sorry. Having old worlds and peds under the like a over 18 category, you have to be over 18 to. No. Nah. No. No. Centipedes. I do. Doesn't matter. It depends. It doesn't matter. You can have a thirteen-year-old who's responsible, and then you can can have a thirty-year-old who's not responsible. Okay. It does not uh, depend on true. age. It depends on maturity of the brain. In my opinion. Mm. You can't really be like, oh yeah, he's good and he's not. Good. Like, no, we, we've, we've, seen, then, we've seen kids when, who come up on the stream and they're mature 
more mature than some of the adults who who joined the streams. And you're like, yeah, I'd give him as any centipede in the old world, and I know he would take care of them. Yeah, but I think it also makes the grown-ups of that young person a bit more aware of that invert if it did state something maybe not necessarily have to be over 18 to buy one but as long like it would say you know something along the lines of this one is not the same as a new new world because you don't get that yeah that that, that would be but but forbidding sales or stuff like that now because there's a lot of parents it's more that information left. that it's, it needs more to be more careful with the care because they're more dangerous stuff like that then yeah that that that, that could work no, Hannah, you're not allowed certain things. Are you She's too? 49. Let's say if you had like um, an adult Metallica for sale at a show, Chris Ling, um, would you pair be a little bit more wary if an under 18 come up to you and said, I'd like to buy that? I always look for their adult. I always look for their adult if they're purchasing a spider on their own, if they look really, really, really young. Yeah. Because I want to talk to the adult. But that's me. That the question. Um, let's say um, a child came up to you, Chris, at a show, and you've got an adult female and P Metallica for sale, and they've got the cash in their hand. Would you immediately go, yeah, that's fine? Or, or would you be conscious of the fact of, where's the pair? Well, where's the adult? There definitely would be an adult because he wouldn't get 180 quid for nothing. Nobody would send a child with 180 quid around, so I don't know. Never had the situation, so I can't judge. Yeah. I wouldn't sell it just like that, but at the same time, yeah, it depends. It depends on the situation. Again, hard to answer. Charlotte says, my sister... Sorry? So stop asking these awkward questions. <laughs> what, what Tuesday's all about? I'm going to always ask the awkward ones. Charlotte says, my sister wants a tarantula, but me and my mum won't let her. My mum, because she doesn't want them in the house, and me, because I know the commitment um, brought her to the last show with me, though. I have one... Old world, which was my mistake, says Helen. Chris is right, though, says the Earth Cane and Scouser. Depends if you're a divvy or not. This is Scouser's words, not mine. If you respect a spider for what it is and sensibly look after it, you shouldn't have a problem. Exactly, dude. Absolutely bang on. Absolutely bang on. Uh, Michael says, an invert is as deadly as the only. Look after it right. All is good. You luck after it the wrong way, bad things happen. But I mean, it's not just spiders, is it? You know, look at your, your snakes, dogs, anything and everything. Um, and it, I think it's down to us as adults just to judge where our children are at and go from there. Um, exactly, Christopher says, Leo, I know adults who can't look after themselves, let alone an animal. Uh, DK, DK, make sure you don't put any swear word because you two won't put the comment up. I won't see it. Nope. Uh, I know what she's want to say. Claire says, person wouldn't sell any inverts without seeing an adult. Yeah. Well, they, they could be the same, to be honest. Just in case. Well, uh, but then, then again, it's like, no, no adult would leave a child on, in in a show on his own to run around and buy stuff. They would always be next to it because there's that many people. You always see people there. So, it, 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 that is true. It, it, it's a hard situation to judge on because say, saying, "Oh, if, if there would be no people," and a random child would come to me and say, oh, "I want to buy this," I'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing here? How the fuck you get here? Where the fuck you got the money from?" Usually, there's adults next to them anyway. So it's a hard situation to judge on. It is, but then oh, I, I actually I won't go where I'm thinking. Um, I don't know. Now it's gone oh, past nine o'clock. 
we can actually um, reveal what Hannah Hannah's mystery box is actually called. Um, so if you could, do you want to do, you want to do that one, Ling? What would you like me to do? Hannah's Sorry. mystery box, what she's called it. I didn't hear what Hannah, you said. Hannah has a mystery box that she has donated to the giveaway, and it is called... The Cunty Isopod Mystery Box. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is Poppy in chat. And if you ever talk to her um, off, off the live stream, if you ever talk to her like via her PM or something, you'll find out every other word is a swear word. And it normally is that one. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's like me. Then you moan at me for swearing. Fuck me, she's worse than me. Oh, she by a long shot, worse she's worse. She's like, she's just, she is the swear jar. The swear jar is empty. It's never full. It doesn't even see a coin. <laughs> my God, no, if you if you well, um if you refresh refresh the screen, dude, there's there's like thirty eight likes, not seven, dude. <laughs> but I do appreciate that. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Mm. Tara is actually messing around with isopods. What are you doing with them isopods? Moving them out Oh, moving them out of the little box into the big box. Yeah. She's well happy. Now I've got space to do it. Yeah, now she's got the room to do it all. She's she's off. <coughs> that was do you know the the unboxing that I've i just randomly videoed Tara and the kids doing? I've deleted it off my phone. So uh, for those that wanted me to put it on YouTube, I can't currently. I've got it. Have you got it? Yeah. Yes, I can then. I might put that up Saturday. Um Lindsay says, laugh my laugh. Love the name of that. The C bomb is dropped very regularly in my house. I'd be amazed if my grandson's first word. <laughs> Incredibly inverts another animal. It's hey Phil. Unless the law has changed in the UK, you can't do an under 16 year old without parental consent. Cheers, Phil. Appreciate that. Um, whoever Q is, none of your devices are connected. <laughs> it's got a big cross for your sound. It's got a big cross for your video as well. Did anyone else buy a mystery box from entities? If so, what did you think about it? I've never bought. I've, never bought, no. I've not bought anything from them yet. No. <clears throat> I've just seen they are selling all their stock too. Oh. I don't know. Maybe they're are they selling up, are they? I've no idea. No idea. Joe, Helen says, Joe, what do you mean you got a rotty? Rottweiler. Is that Joe? Nice, Craig. Good night, Craig. Much love, dude, as well. I know you. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so, as, as Phil said, the law states 16. I wonder if that's for, um, for any animal, though. If Phil's still about, maybe you can answer that one. Hey, Mark, spider guy. Just put the link in chat if any of you guys want to come up, come up and um, say hello. That mystery box that you saw on Facebook, that Tara unboxed with the kids, Tara's just rehousing those centip centipedes, those isopods right now. So those ones we got from Leah. Hey, Steve Spiders, evening all, just checking in as I'm 90, at 90 minutes into another 110-hour week. Wow. Wow. Hey, Mark. 
How can you do 110 hours in one week? <clears throat> that means he's, he's just not going home. <laughs> yeah, means, for any uh, illegal work hours hey. and. Hey, Jay. Get some white wooden there in there and some of the calcium. No, the working time directive, Trond, when you sign your contract, you normally have a second contract which you sign out of it, so you can. And most employees just ram that under your nose before you've actually signed a proper contract. No most employers. <laughs> well, luckily over here, it's the it's written in the world. What's the translation? Workers' in the, law. In the law, yeah. So, unless you agree by a contract by your union rep, you're not allowed to work more than fifty-nine hours a week. All right, Scott. I am going to be going off. Good night, Chris. Good night, everyone. I'll see, see you all on Friday. Turns up. Well, disappears. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking genius. Good night, Chris. Take care. Night, everyone. I'll see you night. all on Friday night. Night, night. Take care. See you Friday, dude. Night. Night. Um, somebody's Michael's laptop messed up. Just refresh the screen and open the live about 15 times back in. Uh -oh. The first bite, Mark. Can't wait for another kiss on that bald head of yours. <laughs> the stud muffin. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to the um to the London show. Um, the new venue. I've never been to, I've never seen any of the IHS videos from there or anything like that. Um, it does look like it's going to be a big venue, though, from what I have seen on Facebook. Oh, no worries, Nameless. Yeah, of course you can join. Yeah, that one needs a bit of water in the corner as well. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the BTS show. I'm looking forward to the BTS show. Me too. My first BTS ever. Will Sharon Sorry, let me squeeze your chops? Present. Will Sharon let me squeeze your chops together? Uh, Wait, ask her. I'll just squeeze. <laughs> 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 There'll be no kissing. I'll just squidge. <laughs> That's yeah. The lichen. Yeah. Yeah, that is literally like layers of those crack for ice pods. So they go go crack. Yeah. It's all just Alan, I'm yeah, not that dirty minded so like you and Bastian. No. Just put some water on that. <laughs> yeah. Scrambled eight times it starts. <laughs> Bill says the venue's <laughs> great for the London show. Oh, thanks, Sharon. I'm gonna squidge you. Like that. <laughs> Just put the link down in chat if anyone wants to pop up on screen. Um, you don't have to have your camera on if you don't want to. Um, we're happy just just if you want to turn your camera off and oh. chat, that's fine. Trench the J got some magic potions coming tomorrow. Love a good isopod. Yeah. And uh, there's a certain someone that better hold on to a mystery box for me or he's in big trouble who's that look oh my first bts i need a spa spiders mystery box what price the best one oh well, yeah <laughs> the biggest one no PM, <laughs> drop them a message and see if they'll accept payment before BTS for it. Um, so I'm, uh, let me just I'll message him now, see if he's about. Well, 
Scott, I don't know if he remembers. I don't even know if you remember. I'm not but in. The live you had when he was giving out uh, mystery boxes. Was that last year? Yeah. Yeah. He said, if I... If I... The, if I would come to a BTS show, he would hold one back for me. But it's almost a year ago, so... I'll send him... I have him on Facebook, so I'll send him a message and ask. I've just dropped him a message. I know I know he does a lot of feedings on a Tuesday, so whether he gets back straight away or not, I don't know. I'm not going to text him. Wow. So, uh, not wood lice. Yeah, the wood lice. Or wood lice, isopod, same thing. Uh, I get so much grief when I call it an isopod or wood lice. It's unreal. Literally, if I if I have isopods on a video and I call them wood lice, I get shit in the comments and messages. You know what they call the Norwegian? Uh, Roly polies? No. Skrukketroll. Skrukketroll? What the hell? I hardly pronounce English, Trond. How how do you do that? Uh, again. Luke, Luke does Scratch. not take pre-orders on those mystery boxes for BTS, but there will be more than enough on the day, he says. Wait, uh, for his sake, uh, there you go. Tron. For his sake, there will... Daddy Spa says we'll 100% oh. hold one for you. Thanks, Daddy. Daddy Spa is a legend, Daddy man. Um, Scrum it, down. trans translated to English, it means wrinkled troll. Who are you calling a wrinkled troll? Tro um, are you any good at pronoun pronouncing in Swedish? Because they call them. Oh, what's uh, that? Grasiga. Graso. No, no. Great. Hey, Callum. Callum, you better be coming to a show pretty soon. You better be coming to BTS, dude. Just quickly stopped in, he says, to the comments just come off that screen. Uh, to remind everyone that Scott's a wanker, have a good night all. <laughs> Callum. Happy pants is in chat. Not happy with him. Why? He won't at the last show. Oh, Callum, you're in trouble. You weren't at the last show, and Tara was, so she's not happy with you. So in Sweden, they call Shows them. Do that with not there. Don't they? Or Dale. Grasuga. 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 Well, I'm not that good on the. Yeah, I know, dude. Swedish Callum's only going to be at the London one. But then again, the Swedish, they are a bit... Bit, bit what, Rond? Where, where are we going with this? A bit weird. A bit weird? <laughs> <laughs> is there a lot is there a lot of like friendly banter with you guys in the Swedish? Yeah. If if you ever come to Norway and ask if they can uh tell you a sweet Swedish joke, most Norwegian can give you 10 15 in a row without thinking. Eric Eric says it's the Norwegians that are weird. Uh, H, hey, Welsh Tarantula. Hey, Ben. But the thing is, Tron, you know, Eric Johnson says it's Norwegians that are weird, and we can only go off you. So I'm going to have to agree with them. Well, okay. Uh, who, who makes the world's smelliest fish as a food? Sweden. Is, is that, 
Is that Swedish? I thought it was Norwegian. No, it's that's Swed. Sweden. It's, it's Swede. Uh, no, it can't. I'd say glass. What? Glass. Glass. Glove. Yeah. What do you think of when I say glass? Tank. And windows and doors. Bum. Exactly. What do Swedish think of when you say glass? Bums. Is, it, is that Swedish for poo or something? No, it's Swedish for ice cream. Oh. But in, in Polish, oh, like right? I, I can remember when I, when I first met this, uh, I know a Polish couple in, in Covent we're really good friends with, right? First time I went around the house, um, they're on about tea. So I says, oh, yeah, I'd love a cuppa. And they both started laughing because cuppa in Polish means poop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, what are you laughing at? They were like, toilets upstairs. I said, I don't need toilet. I said, need... I said you asked me if I wanted right. tea. I said, I'd love a cuppa. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. There's a pot there. It's got a centipede in it. Well, yeah, I know. I just seen it. <laughs> that, that's that's a centipede that I gave the the wrong information on. Apparently. Mm. <laughs> uh, unbox, yeah, just... unbox a mystery box. Call it by what it says on the label, and, and then I get a load of shit for it off one person. I just saw that post. <laughs> but to be fair to them, to them, they 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 do give somebody else another mutual friend that's into a lot of scorpions, a load of jip and all. So, ah, uh, like that is it? Yeah, but it's like I said at the beginning of the the stream strand. If if a species isn't described by a taxonomist, it is species. That's what people call it. Like chili brachius species electric blue. Mm -hmm. Absolute, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, think some sometimes people are just, I don't know, they want to get attention by causing trouble sometimes. Um, Eric says, the smelly fish the struss struss roam, roaming roaming uh from the north of sweden though much like beaver Holt, Holt. alcohol made by letting beavers anal glands soak in okay. alcohol for several months northern swedes are special what <laughs> i wouldn't drink yes. that, that yes, it's a thing. <laughs> no no that's not a thing it's a thing. That is not a thing. Do you it's eat a the thing. Anal glands when they're <laughs> in the alcohol, like you do with a snake's heart? Do you eat no. Glands? They, they don't they, get. They do, no. Are they? Well, yes. I don't, they don't think, oh, that one. Dirty. dirty. You get yes, yes, you eat the glands. That's one of Chris's. Tiny. Uh. Yeah, I know. Uh. What you're doing is. See? I told you. Jay, I'd have to dig it up, mate. <laughs> mm. It is buried. Do you know, believe me? <laughs> I can't believe you they eat anal glands. You smell it when a dog flares up, it stinks. Hannah knows. Hannah's the expert on dogs. Yeah. It absolutely stinks. What? Well. Tara's going for my slings. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Hey, Tron, got a new scorpion tonight off Dave. 
Uh, where is this? They catch small seabirds, stuff them in a seal skin to ferment for months before eating. Nah. Uh, I think that's Greenland or something. Okay. Nice, Rebecca. Or seal? Oh, aren't the seals protected across the world now? Or no? Is it is it just Inuits that, that can? It's it's certain species because. Local uh, seals. I can go seal hunting if I want to. Wanna keep the pots? Wow. Welsh Tarantula says, Scott, how much would you say I need for an invert show? A mortgage? Wanna keep the pots? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, nice it's, one, Rebecca. It's difficult to say how much you'd need for an invert show. What I would say is the prices at the invert shows are always cheaper than what they are online. Um, and it depends which invert show you're going to. Because if you're going to BTS, you're going to want a Spa Spiders mystery box, 100%. So I think they start, if, if Daddy's Spa is still in chat, I'm, I'm pretty sure they start at 30 quid and then go all the way up to, I think it's 100. Um, so you're definitely going to want one of them. You're going to want one or two females because they're always cheaper at the shows as well. So you you've really got to judge it, and um, yeah, go with what you can afford is is probably my my advice. But always make sure you've still got money for rest of the month. Um, it is my very advice, tempting to spend a lot of money at the shows. My advice uh, <laughs> with experience from traveling all the way from Norway and going to the Bristol That's show last idea. year. Look at that one. Uh, bring. Whatever you can afford to bring, Are you sure? and then bring a little bit more. I think I'm going to have an issue with the BTS though, because I'm pretty sure it's before paydays and all sorts yeah, of days. Is it the 19th? Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking nothing then. Because we've got the London show, which is on the 28th, which is my payday. You think? And then... Oh. You think? Yeah. I don't know, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to try and lend money from somewhere for BTS. Oh, I'm sure I get paid on the 12th. Do you? Yeah. Is it on a Saturday or a Sunday? Sunday. I get paid on a Saturday as well. Oh. Just take everything that you've got, says Stu. You sure there's nothing in this? Yeah, pretty sure. BTS, aka my birthday show, says Phil. Phil, is it actually your birthday on on BTS this year? They sell the kids more money, the better, says Trifler J. No and Helen says Spa Mystery that. Boxes, awesome and must. They only do it for BTS as well. Yes. And Luke, don't half go all out. Um... I'll definitely, definitely 100% be getting a mystery box from Spa no matter what. Um, if I've got a, if I've got a Rob the Misses, then that'll, that'll be happening. <laughs> right. Jack is getting a Spa Spiders mystery box again this year. I need one. Well, it's not that I'm, I do have some tarantulas. My hobby is mostly scorpions, but it's just uh, on the memory side of thing, my first BTS, my first Spot Fighters Mystery Books that you only can get at BTS. It's just a nice memory to have. If you can't if you can't make BTS, there might be something happening on the Tuesday after BTS with Spa on here. So just keep your eyes out for that one. Um, Phil says, not this year. My birthday is on the Friday, so me, my parents, and Amy will be staying in the area from the 17th. Phil, message me, dude. Um, We're anywhere in the um, we'll, we, we will literally, if you, if you stay in, around in the area, it'd be wicked to come meet up with you before the show. If you're from the 17th, you can go and get food and is... get dinner somewhere. Phil, if... are you saying your birthday is the 17th of May? 
Yeah, that needs a little bit of a spray down as well. Yeah. So he'll be staying in the area from the 17th. I'll That's be arriving awesome. in England the 17th, Sorry? I think. Yeah. How are you everyone? All here. I'm going to go to the All of it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Tara's Phil. going through. Tara's going through every every isopod colony. No, that's a work, Marnie. Uh, Phil, I don't know if you know this, but 17th of May is uh, no day. I think the rest will be on there. I'll have to get them in a bit. Uh, yes, Trondy says. Um, Helen, we're hoping to stay in the area where you're thinking, Phil. Uh, Tarantula J, birthday 17th of May. <laughs> Hello, I have. <laughs> Staying at the Binley Premier Inn. Phil, you're like five minutes from me, dude. Um, literally. 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 If you're having a private thing, that's fine. But if, if you're not, drop us a message and I'm. I'd love to come and see you for a bit when you're back. Might have to take you over to KBN as well. Hey, MG Tarantula, is you okay? Hello. Uh -huh. Exactly, Dave. Curtain switch here. Oh, yeah. I think I think Welsh Tarantula said he wanted to take up. Was it 500? 500 is more than enough to have an amazing show. You'll have an amazing show with 500 quid in your pocket. Um, the last show, I only managed to come away with so much because I took some slings there to sell. And we did a little bit of swapping with slings and stuff like that. Just two slings, court bark and collie the spring pail. Uh, Leo will be there Saturday the night. Yeah, I think it's um okay, was, the rest are all ran there somewhere. I can't, I, I can't get them now. I'm up for KBN, says Phil. Awesome, awesome. You'll look, KBN's wicked. Um, KBN Reptiles in Coventry. Did a video um, ages ago. We'll go in there and checking out the shop. Oh, everything good, everything is kept awesome. About eight months ago, last summer. Yeah, not that long ago. It's coming up to a year. All the other pod stuff's in there. Uh, Helen says, what's KBN? One of the best reptile uh, shops in the Midlands. Sounds expensive. Leah, this this is Leah, this is your fault, by the way. That 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 is Tara's Oyster Pod care box. That is. So she's got all the feed and everything in there and the moths and the the lichen and God knows how much. How far from Bingley Mega Chippy, Scott? I'm looking to stay at the Travel Lurch, not far from there. Um if if you stay if you stay near near Binley um mega chippy then the coventry show is around 10 minute drive and the bts is around 10 minute drive as well um so a lot of people that kind of go on oh, i can't go to coventry show but i can go to the bts they are literally within five minute drive of each other they are that close that battle for it drops in the sperm over yeah. And then the Amernia up there. Where? That mature male Amernia. In that round tub. Which one? That's a square tub. That one. Yeah, that's a round one. I asked her to look in a square tub. Not, that circular not, tub, she looked in not. a square one. Hey, Susan. Hey, Susan. Hi, guys. Been watching, but busy doing stuff. Helen, I'm booked. When did when did I book? I don't know. 
Helen, you are booked the same hotel as Leah and Phil. I've oh, now moved on to maintenance with the crab. Need food. Don't ask me. I'll just nod and agree. The water scorpion uh, at yesterday, but probably again today. Okay. Drop them. Drop a meal worm in front of it and it will smash it. The crab, drop a meal worm in front of it. And it will thank you. And some of them, yeah. And a meal worm. No, locust. Not touched it. No, I think the locust is too big for him. That's common sense. The same size as Michael it. says, who's got crabs? Oh, he's got crabs. Where'd you go from? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I bought I bought the, cat, the crab off Gavin from Impossible Inverts. Um, and if you go to Unseen Universe at any of the shows, go speak to Gavin. I love him to bits. And trust me, you'll fall in love with the guy. He's awesome. Um, well, that's where the actual crowd come from. Uh, Phil's going to visit Stratford Butterfly Farm. Yeah, that, that's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. You can actually buy some of the butterfly larvae from there. You can only go now if you book it. Yeah, you do have to book those Hey, Phil. Uh, I want to go there too. Always wanted to go. Okay. My advice, though, is if you're going to the Stratford Butterfly Farm, um, take sandwiches because Stratford's very, very pricey. Mm -hmm. Um, fish, chips, even even the local shops, everything's very pricey over in Stratford. Uh, Phil knows the manager. You better be getting behind the scenes video for you, though, Phil. You better be. And I'll be, be uh, checking that. If everybody in chat could click on um, Incredible Inverts and Other Animals and uh, drop him a subscription that would be fantastic in fact if you subscribe to me you should already be subscribed to phil anyway um and if you don't know who phil is phil is um, a zookeeper um phil is incredible inverts and other animals at the shows as well got his own stand um breeds um some incredible inverts and he's just all around top top geezer really knows his stuff really knows his stuff as you found out earlier when it comes to the laws also there we go, he's munching. Who's munching? Krabby Patty. Oh, the, they're, 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 they're calling the crab Krabby Patty. Crab fell asleep, Ed. Not no. the first time. Not the first time. Why do I? Oh yeah. What, what? There they are. Oh yeah. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully the weather is a bit better in no, May as well. Because I won't do the same mistake twice. The BTS weather is normally nice. Normally a good day. Normally a nice day. Yeah. Uh, Phil says he's got a video uh, when they opened their new reptile area and got behind the scenes, was invited along as part of the press team. <laughs> Jason decided our one eye Pac Man is called Mike Wazowski. Mm. Monsters, Monsters Inc. Inc. Scott, how many inverts do you actually have? Two. Jay? The wife stood next to me, so I can't reveal that answer. Sorry. <laughs> There's like stuff here, and then I've got tubs behind them as well. As, so. All them ones? No. Um, but yeah, we've got a couple. We'll keep the pot because I want some more. Yeah, keep that pot. Yeah, we can put 
Yeah, there are snails in it when they're a bit bigger. Okay. I think I need to order myself another mystery box on Spa Spiders. Means another month on water and bread, but hey ho. <laughs> we need to get another one from Leah. What? Isopod one. You want another isopod mystery box from Leah? Mm. Okay. Unusual pets. That's where the last one came from. What? Do you want, do you want me to pick one up from the London show? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah, Eric, that would help. When counting inverts, remember to count every single isopod and ropes. So that way you inflate the numbers properly. What's in that? No. That is the. Yeah, that's the Oimera. Grab it. She's not. She's not borrowing that a lot. Like she's supposed to. So. Oh. Oh. Tell Tara we'll do one especially for her. Thank you. I'll have to um, film that one then again. See that. <laughs> Yeah, has anybody ever paired Oimera and had babies? Because I paired the Oimera and I had to rehouse her due to mould. That was about four weeks ago, and she's not even started to burrow. She's just walking around on top of the surface. It's, it's making me worry. That's a scorpion. Favorite. Yeah. Yeah. But no, don't don't water that one. Just a dish. It ain't got much. It has. And I ain't got my glasses on. No, it's buried it. Oh, is it buried it? Mm. I have to count every single invert apart from ants and work every month. I can tell you we have 1,223 hissing cockroaches. Mm -hmm. Nameless collector, it's one minute till 10 p.m. Michael, you can sod off how many individual ants have you got? Yeah, yeah, a few do. Uh, um, well, that, is a bit behind. Work money. Yeah, move it. They took the ice across as well, you moron. Oh, there you I go. I can get to one. All right. Well, stop faffing. Stop faffing? I was just put the kettle on to make it tear now. I forgot to watch. Yeah, Phil has to count every single invert at the zoo. Is that every month, did he say? Wow. Yeah. That must be. Oh, God. I shall be back in just one second. Hey, Gwen. Scott's away, Lynn's away. This is a Tron takeover. Hey, Charlotte. Ooh, nice. Yep. Hey, Steph. Yeah, they're beautiful, Panda Kings. That is so cute. Hey, Gwen. Is it the Tron takeover? I just put, I, I just turned the camera off. Turn the mic off, and then I press the button because my, my phone settings change at ten o'clock, and then on Tuesday I have to I have to put them back again, and it just knocks it off. Scott, did you water scorpion need a water dish? Yeah, to stand on. Yeah, to stand on. I've got I've got an upturned water dish in in it, and it never uses it. It just stays purely in the water. Um, Scott. Yeah. Your microphone is what? Doing boo boo. Oh god. And he's gone. Yeah, Eric. We done it before, we can do it again. Bloody hell. I am back. I am so sorry. Where's Scott? Hey, is that is that better? Why do you keep dipping in and out? 
because Tron said the microphone was knackered, so I have to pause. Well, I have to come back out and come back in. Well, yeah. Uh, and at the, same, uh, at, at the same time, Tara's having an absolute happy meltdown because the Panda King's uh, ice pods have had no, babies. I'm having a meltdown. What you said to have children would be fun. <laughs> Who said what? <laughs> Who said having kids would be fun? They lied. They lied. <laughs> 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 they tricked me nice charlotte uh steph yes that was spagnumus uh and i used that uh, the smaller ones i know uh, in you? every enclosure for species that oh nice uh for species that digs and like a moist environment uh because if you do uh the clay ball and window screen mesh thingy then they're still gonna dig through it and make a huge mess so i use pegnomus instead a little Seems bit of a trick for me so Holds the humidity really well, does sphagnum moss. Yeah, and I I covered the whole bottom end of the enclosure. In it, just mean it, it can hold eight times its own weight in water. Yeah. Is my audio a bit better now? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, Michael, I said moist. Moist, moist, moist. For, for over for nearly two years, we've been trying to make moist just a normal word on this channel now. It can't. And it just it's just not happened. You can't. <laughs> What's wrong with moist? Uh it's too moist wet. means it's moist. Night, night Ben. Uh, oh night Charlotte band. says got my first scorpion at Barnsley Tron. Nice. What species was it? Is it? Helen, I had to go on my mobile as my laptop is lagging badly. Oh, I don't mind moist, but prefer claggy. <laughs> 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 uh, moist means squelchy. No, no, you're over moist if you're squelchy. What? When you have, like, I don't know if you're. A meat eater, but when you have moist meat, it's not squelchy. Oh, they're so cute. Moist is like the degree before you get to damp. Yeah, it's like juicy. Just <laughs> juicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's I just, found, just enough. Just I enough just is moist. to get something out of my shed for me, and he's like, "The shed is full of spiders." I was like, "You live with spiders." And he was like, no, these are different spiders. I was like, yeah, they're fine. <laughs> Leave them alone. They're happy. Yeah. Claggy. Claggy sounds humid. Sounds like a very sticky, humid area. Claggy. You know, you get claggy thighs. Ah, uh, Silenus. Nice one, Charlotte. If it's your first one, then it's it's a great beginner species also. So yes, I gave Hannah a Heterometris Selena. No, I didn't. I gave her a Lauticus. I lied. My Selenus, my Selenus went to uh, Scorpion Bridge across the rainbow. Oh no! I don't know how old it was though, because it came to me as a adult. So well, yeah. Had no idea. The excitement is real in the inverts household. <laughs> Tarantula J has Panda King babies also. Uh, no. 
Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> when the Panda Kings first came out, they were well expensive. And then, like, people like Michael Exotics, Leah, Phil started breeding them, managed to bring the price right down again. But Tara's just, like, literally just going all soft and jelly legged over Panda King babies currently. Layla, remove your phone. Yeah, I, do. I can't I can't grab hold of the heart isopod. I can't get hold of it. <laughs> I can't get on that oh, train. Jay's got white shark babies currently as well. Expansius, Charlotte Expansius have had babies. <laughs> Slippery when wet, says Michael. Bon Jovi said that once. I think he said it a fair few times. Yeah, in, <laughs> in that one song, um, he is selling them ten pounds a pound each. Look at that. Have reduced her price of pandas even more. Ten pounds for ten. The phone's been on there. Was it just playing away? <laughs> that that is cheap. That is ridiculously cheap. Literally a quid each. A okay. pound each. I'm I'm pretty sure. Um, people in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, which I am quite a lot lately. I think the Panda Kings, when they first here, weren't they? Weren't they something like 35, 30 to 35 pound each? I remember them being quite expensive. I don't know anything about them. Yeah. So the sellers could have held the price for Pike. Uh, Leah, would you put me 10, 10 of those aside for the London show, please? So then I've got two two different lines of DNA in with ours then. That'd be three. Uber duckies are cute. Cute and expensive. And Jez has put five into the into the giveaway. Babe, are you um, sure you need more? Why in tarnation would you pay thirty-five pounds? For a single isopod, that sounds very expensive, says Eric. Eric, yeah, they are, but they're cute. some of them are just worth the money. Again, you know, we we spend a hell of a lot of money on adult female spiders, so the fascination with the isopods is just as strong. They're just as beautiful. So, and the rarer they are, the more you pay. Uh, <clears throat> Phil says he paid fifty pound for five panda kings. Um, now also been selling them for ten pound for ten. Wow, there you go. Rubber Ducky has also come down a lot in price. Kira says can't put a price on cuteness. Exactly, that's that's I it. I know. It? <laughs> <laughs> well, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what, the, what just happened? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Micro exotics is really good. Have I seen the Cubaria species Jupiter? I have Michael, and they are well out my price range. I'm waiting for Phil to, to uh, start breeding them like crazy and bring the price down. To be honest with you, Michael. Mm, yeah, but retro AMG. games, Eric, are like completely different. Retro games, you just can't get them again. But some of them are. I would like to play some of them again. I want to I'm... play the duck game, the duck hunt game on a Nintendo. That, that... The one with a gun. <laughs> you know that so was a... duck hunt was originally on the um, ZX Spectrum one to eight K plus two with their light gun, and it was shit. I... Yeah, but it was great. No, Just no, it was good. It was good on the Nintendo on the Spectrum. You'd be like that, ah, and and then like you'd be pulling the trigger, and nothing would be happening. Just like when we first got computers and we could we could do painting on it. That was amazing. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> oh, another cup of tea. This is like my third cup of tea and a half litre of water tonight. I do need to put water back in my body though. Yes. But then tea tea also dehydrates with caffeine in it. But the water in the tea is warmer, isn't it? So it absorbs into the body faster. Yes. Ah, see, 
We're flushing out the waste. Yay! <laughs> I don't. I don't drink. I don't drink like prior prior to a few weeks ago. I used to drink coffee. Like you know, I'll have a coffee and that was it. And but now, if I have a coffee, I always have a glass of water with it. Always. Um, Mark said the old light guns don't work on modern LCD TVs. You need a CRT TV. One of the old ones. One of the big heavy things. Yeah, or you need to do the like the Nintendo Wii with the sensor above the screen when you do the boxing games and stuff. Phil still waiting for baby Jupiter's got baby orange freeze and the duckies, red pandas and the piggies. Liz jumping spiders just had a sack. Go on. <laughs> Tragedy, J. I suppose a lot of crypto. Coffee does dehydrate you a lot, a lot worse than what tea does. I can't stand the smell of coffee; it makes me ill. Oh, I know. I love a coffee. It makes me think of like you know when your teachers used to talk to you and this stank of coffee tongue. Uh, vile. Hey, UK. It's to turn but away from them. It, it, it's like I've got this week off because it's in, be in between the two jobs, as a lot of you know. Ling certainly does. Um, because I finished work last Friday and I start the new job Monday. So I probably won't drink any coffee this week. I tend, I tend to only drink posh coffee. So like on a Friday at work or on the way to, to a show and on the way back from a show. That's it. Posh coffee. Posh coffee. Pumpkin spice latte macchiato. <laughs> What's wrong with pumpkin spice? It's pretty lovely. The biscotti one was what, nice. The Starbucks what, did. My word. What Chris said to you last week had me howling when you said that. The offence he took. <laughs> you said that he drank that. Oh, what? God. In this? No. Next bit. Yep. Um, I, need, I need to get my arm strength back because I'm going to start doing okay. manual labour now. I've lost all my arm strength. I have to start doing weights, Tron. I'm going to be like, Popeye! <laughs> I'm going to be stronger than you. Uh, Lynn say, uh, no, I've never played. I've it's never played. And then subscribe point to that, but I ain't going to subscribe. No, I know someone who does play Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. No. <laughs> Lena just asked me for Hogwarts Legacy for the Switch. I told her no. I said to her, until I get it for the PlayStation, you ain't having it. I don't drink anything. I drink. Okay. If I have a caramel frappuccino, it has no coffee yeah, in it, it has no milk in it, and it has vegan yeah, cream in it with loads of caramel. So basically, it was. I'm oh, having a cup of milk with caramel in it. <laughs> I don't have any coffee in it at all. What? A latte with the caramel, but no coffee? So I go to Starbucks and I say, can I have a caramel frappuccino, but can I have no coffee in it with oat milk and vegan cream with extra caramel? So I'm basically having a cup of milk. <laughs> so you're just having oat milk and... And caramel. <laughs> <laughs> if, any, if anybody does that, go to, to places like Costa and Starbucks. Try a different milk. Try the oat milk. Oat, oat, oat milk is so wicked. Scott, hey, how's hey, your hey. belly now? Says Dale. <laughs> you had any more accidents? No accidents, <laughs> Dale, since yesterday. I just feel like that in-between stage of still ill and getting better. I'm in the middle, if, if that way it says. It's Do you know when you're like... Probably help if you didn't eat bacon and sausages and eggs. <laughs> that weren't my fault. And kebabs and burgers. That, was, that wasn't my fault either. So <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I weren't very well, right? So I had to go to the toilet, um, for want of better words, to put it most politely. And then Tara was Tara went up the shop to get me a sandwich and come back with a cold bacon, red sauce, sausage, and egg fucking sandwich. <laughs> and at the time I was starving, so I had to eat it. And then we had a kebab at night time because I weren't getting out of bed. <laughs> I 
So yeah. <laughs> so that's why he's ill still. <laughs> to be fair, I think we both ended up in bed, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, TMI. Well today. TMI. Eat some rice helps solidify the. Oh yes, Michael. <laughs> If when I eat rice, I eat um, the rice balls. So do you know the the Asian? Is it Asian? Yeah, the Asian market we got across across the road. Gluttonous, gluttonous rice balls. They do rice balls, but it's full of um, they call it edible oil. So God knows what that is, but with molasses. So I've had a few of those today, and I was like, hold on a minute, molasses. Doesn't that make you go? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Why well, did you to eat banana, rice, like brat diet, basically, gentle stomach stuff? He doesn't listen. Kind of looks like he needs sleep. Tron looks like he needs sleep. Mm. That's because it's 20 past 11 over in Norway. Yeah. Dale says, I told him not to have a kebab, but he really wanted cheese and chips. And Scott turns into a right diva when he's hungry. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> I, am, I, I am a moody bastard and a diva when I'm hungry. I'm a fat bloke. What do you expect? You know what I mean? <laughs> he has a rant. If Get I'm hungry, I have to. If I'm hungry, I've got to have something that's nice. I can't go. Oh, well, I'll just have some shit out of the shop. I can't do it. It's got to be something that I really enjoy. And if it, if it's not something that I really enjoy, I get really pissed off because the food shit. Hey, t <laughs> Tony said relatable. Hey, Anton. <laughs> Scott, I found a website that sells cheap cut. Oh my god! Here we go. The amount of times Scott said McDonald's at C's. I, if I reckon, if I had a pound for every time you said the word McDonald's at C's, I'd have at least fifty quid in my pocket. <laughs> that worked. That worked. My fault. Minimum fifty quid. I'd have. Chris, Chris was supposed to be ordering McDonald's and never fucking did. Yeah, he did ask me what I wanted, and I did say, "Say the marina." Yeah. <laughs> he did it. Feel it. <laughs> Well, it, it was like, well, we got up at like seven o'clock, missed breakfast because we set CFTN up, and then it was like, fucking hungry. <laughs> and then Chris was on about getting something from McDonald's, and I was like, yeah, I ordered something then. So I never actually went and got breakfast from the show bit either. And I was like, look, you know, fat bloke starving over here. I've only got a packet of double deckers. They had, um, they had uh, a bakery there, and I said, oh, have they got any? sausage rolls or anything there and they were like no it's a bakery it's just cakes and i was like well bakery down in cornwall we have pasties we have patties we... Like, what are you going on about that, that's yeah exactly it's the same in car a bakery is where you have like, literally like a greg's and if you like if you imagine greg's that's yeah. a fucking bakery with with like you know fresh loaves of bread greg's in sausages the bakery. sausage rolls and all the rest of it but a bakery that just does Cakes is a cake shop. Because <laughs> yeah. I was going to go there and they were like, oh, they only do cakes. It's just a bakery. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm calling it a bakery if they just do cakes. Lira, yeah. full, full Chinese yeah. at, the, at the Sheffield show. Hey, Anton. Remember, oh, the picnic, yeah. That was amazing. Oh, that was when when Ellie brought the uh, sandwiches and everything. That was wicked. That's when Noah got his name, Chicken Nugget. <laughs> Kept was pulling that, him out of his pockets. Was it Dale? Weren't that before before any of us did anything at the shows? Weren't it as well? Yeah, that was the Bristol show. The Bristol show, yeah. Where we took all the kids. That was yeah, all the, yeah. That was wicked. That's how Noah got his name, Chicken Nugget, pulling him out of his pocket all day. That was epic, Ellie, with the sandwich enclosures, like. Literally, like you paid a caterer to pop along with like proper sandwich enclosures and stuff. That's how Ellie rocked up. 
That's the bottle of photos of Leo. Leo talks. Susan, when I was pregnant, I lived opposite a bakery. I put four stone on. I blame, right? When when I first started the hobby, I had a flat stomach. And I blame Tara and the fact that we live opposite about five different takeaways for the fact that I'm now, I'm now about 200 stone. Well, I don't know. When I was pregnant with Mara, right, I right. couldn't keep food down unless it was from the market in town. Yeah. I had to have a full English twice a day just to keep it down. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. I couldn't eat a full English. Not unless oh. it's like... Not Eric. If oh, you take away the black pudding, then yeah. Ooh. No, you more black, black pudding. pudding is... No, the black pudding. black pudding is not food. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Hogs no. pudding, black pudding, paka paka. Black pudding is dog food. <gasps> they flip so word in good old days and all. Rude. Did you just say black pudding was what? It's dog food. You can f get, get off the fucking stream. How do we do it? <laughs> Where's Chris? Good night, Scott. Chris, <laughs> mute him. <laughs> I love a black pudding, and, though. Anton can't eat a full English, but will, will eat a full Scottish, which is the same thing as a full English, just you have square but sausages. No, it's not. It's because you can't, ha can't handle the full English. Yes, they I also are. black pudding is vile as well. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. It's not food. Gwen it's said we brought our own food protein. to school until seventh grade. I I used to take a metal sandwich box to middle school before they banned them because everybody was twatting each other. And then secondary school, I think I ate maybe once because my mum gave me one pound fifty a day and ten cigarettes was like one pound twenty three. And um, with the change, I could get myself a Mars bar. See, Chris, Chris agrees. Black pudding and hogs pudding. Get in him. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Real food. It's real food, Tron. You've got to have it with a runny egg all over it with some salt and pepper. Some what, what I, what I, uh, nameless collect, I grew up eating black pudding is the best. What in I Dali, really miss There was a is... market, and as you walk in, you could smell it. What what I really miss is um oh flipping forgot the name of it now. That makes, that makes sense. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Dyslexic mind just takes words out of her head. It'll give it me back tomorrow. <laughs> what does it um, look like? Once. <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> She's just looking at me, gone out, dripping, dripping on toast. Beef. Beef, Beef dripping, dripping or pork dripping. Oh. Beef dripping Man. on toast is good. Well, guys, I'm going to leave you. Well, I'll drop. Good night. Early tomorrow, so. <laughs> yes, I need to get up early too. I've got things that I need to do. Mm. Well, it, it's not a school night because everybody's not at school tomorrow. No, but I'm doing oh, a nice. massage tomorrow. We've got Easter holidays. Ooh. No, I've got I've got someone booked for a massage. Is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm going to tenderize it. Went to without the happy ending. Without? How dare you? <laughs> they will be happy, but there will be no end. That is the end. The end. Lily, I was just about to say, uh, yeah, it's not it's not your average massage place, Tron. You, you don't just go, that's it. <coughs> it's um, high class, very professional. Very mm. high class. Mm. Here it says, boy, Tron. Bye, chat. Soon it says, Bye, soon it says, night, Tron. Bye, night, Ling Tron. Ling. Cheers for coming Bye. on. Bye. Tarantula Jays up in Blackpool. I am actually really excited about getting back into it, but I already feel achy with, without even doing mm -hmm. it. I'm going to have to do some weights and pump myself up again. Have like <laughs> Mei Ling, the beast. <laughs> I suppose doing massages and stuff, it's going to... 
really take it out on your hands and your forearms first couple of weeks, isn't it? Hands, wrists, forearms, elbows, and it like proper pumps your back and your chest up because you're you're constantly working yourself out. So you'll have somebody come in going, oh, I've got a massage with Ling, and then you'll walk out in three months like this. Yeah, I'm going to be like, boosh, I'm coming. <laughs> wow. Jay says, can see Blackpool Tower from the end of the street. I've been, I've actually been, um, my stepdad's got the pictures. I've been to the very, very, very top of Blackpool um, Tower because, I mean, I'm 45, so I must have been, I was probably about three, four years of age. We went to Blackpool. And he said all the way up, you could go all the way up to the top, but the very top bit you couldn't get go. And he said it just had a bit of tape, um, like a little a rope tape thing across. So he just moved it out of the way and took me all the way up to the top anyway. That's the one I was trying to show you earlier. Right <laughs> the size of that. Oh, yeah. That needs to go in a pot by itself now. <laughs> That's the one I was trying to show you earlier. Ah. You can see the tower from Preston. I've been to Blackpool. I want to go there again, but I think we need to go there as a group. How fun would that be? I can't remember who I was talking to about it. Who was I talking to about it? And we was talking about the pub that you go in and you literally run for your life. I can't remember who Scarf. that was. Is that a scare place? It's not. Yeah, it is a scare place. But when you run out and you think it's the end, you run out of the toilets into the restaurant area where everyone's eating and you literally like screaming and everyone's just like, what on earth? Yes, it is linked with the um, Oreo spoilers. It's like play Cosmia Ricote. Our friends bred them. Yeah. And he's got a He's got about four hundred babies, but he's in he's is in it, he's in Thailand. So is it in is it the rickete or is it the Thai ones, which is a smaller was, version? Probably the Thai one. Then I would have thought. Yeah. I'm off to get up early for my TSS parcel. Later, everyone. I've got <laughs> Michael, one coming. Can you imagine Michael going to bed, setting his alarm, <laughs> ready for the basement? <laughs> Literally. Why can't why can't right all the spider people do what Amazon do, just so you can get it on your phone and it goes oh there he is there he is and you can watch him come to your house. <laughs> yeah. I do not have any for sale. I'm afraid. You joking? When they come up for sale, Ling buys a lot, and that's it. Yeah. I do actually. <laughs> in, in, in one failed swoop. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Mm. Kira, you could just get the get the ferry across. Um Bristol show will probably be about the closest to Ireland, I think. Is it? I would have thought Liverpool? so. Where's Liverpool to you? Liverpool to you up, up north, two hours away, two hours north. So yeah, wouldn't the Barnsley show have been better because they could have caught the ferry to Liverpool and then gone to Barnsley? Yeah, that would be the better option, or the Scottish show, or the Scottish show. Tranchler J, things I remember from school detention, detention, knocking on her teacher's door drunk. Leaping from top of English black block window to a large tree, cheating at cross country. <laughs> Secondary school for me was trips home at dinner time in the well, deputy bedmaster's car. Lots of detention yeah. that my mum used to sign me off for. Suspension. Yeah, we've got the Wigan show is coming up. And then also the Scottish, the Glasgow show is not until August. So you've got plenty of time. Night, Ian. Night, Ian. Yeah, yeah we can show, can show in June. That's the second of June, and then you've got August, the end of August. You've got the, the Glasgow show, so you've got plenty of time. How how many months away is August? April, May, June, July, August. See, so you've got four months, five months basically. 
<laughs> if you can if you can get to an invert show, get to one because it's just like oh, it's it's unexplainable, really. It, it's difficult to put in words how good it is. I love the invert shows. Nobody to look after the kids, she says. Bring them. Bring them. At the invert shows, they got the the bug show, so there's like half an hour dedicated to the kids there. The Liverpool ferry is a nightmare. Flying would be easier. I get the ferry from Hollyhead to Dublin a few times a year, and it's a drag, says Lindsay. I would love to be able to go on a plane again. I just <sighs> mental block just says, uh uh, not getting on a plane. Remember Mr. T? <laughs> yeah. that, that's me. Yeah. I want to go. I want to go traveling, but I need to wait for my youngest to get a bit bigger so that he understands that he can't just do what he wants. As soon as, as soon as he gets to an age where I feel he'll be all right, then I'm off. Oh, Again, Jay says happy. you can get to the top of Blackpool Tower now. I've got a photo. There's a photo of me actually on the original roller coaster that they had there. I think it. Was it the Pepsi Max took it out? It got took down, rebuilt as a Pepsi Max, and then I think it might have been rebuilt they, again since. They did the Pepsi Max and they did the PlayStation that shot you in the air. Yeah. I lost my shoes on that PlayStation. Oh, yeah, my Diane. soul let, my Me, soul I'd like left to say I'm trying to take the kids into town. <laughs> They're nightmares. Yeah, our kids are nightmares. Fuck me. There. Tarantula J, Casa de, de Del Terra, Lee. That is where I want to go. That's where I want to go as a group. We can have food after, but we need to go through that first. Hey, Metal Theologian. Hello. I ain't got a clue how man I managed to pronounce that each week. Theologian. Casa, no, Casa J or Casa Ye. No, me me Metal Theologian's one of the guys in the in the chat. Oh, sorry, Metal Theologian. Oh, yeah, I, I missed that one because I've got no chance of me pronouncing that. Pa Pazaji? Pa <laughs> oh. I'm a little bit dyslexic, but you can take the piss out of me as much as you want. I, I love it, honestly. Oh, my God, I now did. he's using big I words. Ha -ha, it's kind of pre- Pretentious name. Pretentious. pretentious. What's that mean? What's that? Pretentious. What's that mean? What, pretentious? What's pretentious? Um, oh, what? I've got brain block now. Oh, shit. Tara. <laughs> <laughs> What's pretentious? What is Where's pretentious? Layla? I've got brain block. Sounds like me and Dave trying to produce scorpion names tonight. I'm, attempting, I'm to impress, attempting to impress by affecting greater importance. I used it when I guested on a friend's radio show in the early noughties and repurposed it for the channel. It means I'm full of full of shit. <laughs> oh, wicked. Um, all right, no, Foria, making yourself sound more important than you are. Ah, there you go. NW show closest to Ireland is Wigan, says Tarantula J. Northwest. Wow, after clearing out that table and everything today, I'm moving it on and taking it apart. Absolutely, got lots of crawling on me. <laughs> Yeah, so I used to have a desk behind the camera where, where we are now. And this is obviously the kitchen. And we've put like a fold away dining table there now instead. So we've got a lot more room in the kitchen because I was like literally taking the whole kitchen over. And Tara was convinced there was tarantulas living underneath the desk. Yeah. So, yeah, now she's all itchy from it. <laughs> Well, how many times did I tell you to get rid of it? Scott can't even read Stu properly. I can't. No, I'm not. I'm not the greatest. Yeah, did, did, a little bit of dyslexia is a pain in the backside. I tell you. 
and people just think say. people just think it's all like you can't return bits and stuff like that but it affects you daily like you've seen I simple say words that sometimes just wrong sometimes because i can't it, it just makes my tongue twist it, simple words just vanish out your mind when you write mid-sentence and it's like 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 the, the drip in a minute ago it, it's 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 horrible and then <laughs> like you go to write a text and then you think oh yeah i'll write this word and then you go to write it and not even predictive text or spell check knows what the fuck you're on about so you have to delete the whole message and rewrite it using a different word all the fucking time oh the bastard sound hey rush you okay I, I think when you write me a text even if it's wrong i think you should write it anyway I, uh, all the time yeah but i think I, you should just leave it and not correct yourself <sighs> don't use a different word i write the four i'll put the sex in dyslexia <laughs> 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 Yeah, you do need a Scott translation dictionary. I don't know if you text me, it makes no offense. I just phone you and ask you what you're on about. Yeah, Tara just ends up ringing me and going, What the fuck are you on about? Um, I'm just very, very lucky with, with the <laughs> WhatsApp chat that everybody just ignores the mistakes and kind of generally knows what I'm on about. <laughs> I'm, I'm very thankful for Google for video descriptions and, and stuff like that, put it that way. <laughs> I don't know if we will be at the Wigan show, says Leah. Well, there's no tables left or something. No, oh, yeah, you are. Scott, do do what Probably my granddaughter show, does. Use the microphone thing. The uh, problem with Wigan show is that it's at the start of the month. Like literally it's a week. There's a week difference between the shows. Are you drunk? Go on, Stan. Oh. <laughs> Go on, Stan. He's like, pop his head around the door. And he's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he's getting lower and lower and lower. Fingers crossed, he's drunk enough to wake up in the night and piss in the wardrobe. <laughs> that lad's a legend. Tango yeah, I got no money. It was oh. called the PlayStation when I was down there. BTS is two weeks before. Silver Webber's dad's dyslexic and uses voice to text, but has half his teeth misses. So it gets worse if he uses that. <laughs> my, 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 my stepdad is very, very dyslexic. Literally, just no. Um, it's It's really difficult for him to read or, or to write so many moons ago he went to a course at night time to try and improve it and he did a lot but they had him um like standing on remember the balls you had a ball with a platform around the ball for balancing it's called a balance ball balance ball balance ball yeah that's what it's called yeah. one of those balance balls they had him standing on one of those and then like raising an arm and stuff like that and then throwing one throwing a ball to the other hand and stuff and for some reason the the hand eye coordination um improved but then his dyslexia um wasn't as bad it's ever so strange how the brain works you know the balance we still haven't been paid for the an animal encounters shows we did six weeks ago they owe us over 300 quid fucking bastards you know that board that you're on about they, they're also called wobble cushions a wobble cushion and the scorner on about getting one for leo because he can't sit still and if he's sat there on one of them he can just wiggle instead of having to get up and run around because that way he's still not sitting still did you hear that the little wobble, the wobble boards the school's going to get leo one because with his good. with his autism and that he can't sit still so they think if they sit him on a wobble board he can sit there and do this and not yeah, get up and run off. Is that like a Grimm's wobble board? A what? It's called a wobble cushion. It's, it's called, yeah. called a wobble cushion for chairs. It's like a cushion, but it's got a ball underneath it, so it wobbles on the chair. I need one of them. I don't know about Leo. Jace <laughs> needs one of those as well. 
It's I only sit so still on this chair because look. They're like 40 quid on Amazon. I think, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get another 10 minutes and then um, call it an evening. Uh, I'm a bit shocked there's still 43 of you still here and watching. Thank you very, 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 very much. Uh, oh, where were we? That's it. Uh, Charlotte says I want one. <laughs> yeah, it does it does sound like that money's not coming, Leah, to be honest. To me. And it sounds like you have to go down the legal route. <laughs> Wobble cushion, wiggle seat to improve sitting posture and stay focused for sensory kids. Balance disc to cure strength. That's it. So you can sit on that and it wobbles about. Same scar, our business insurance is being cancelled because of it. That's fucking piss tail here. Absolute piss tail. I think I think you've got no alternative but but to is there any solicitors watching or anybody from like a law background that could assist Leah with that for free? It'll be a thing. Yeah, my, my eldest two boys are autistic and I've been meaning to try those out. A lot. You can stand oh, you on can stand on. Yeah. Uh Charlotte, I had a client disappear who owed me one thousand four hundred. Changed all my contracts, etc. Following that, that was twenty-two pounds. The school said they found one for Leo for forty, but it's not inflatable; it's an actual one that you can't pop. Mark says people can take the piss because they know it costs more to chase. Yeah. But I'm sure if a few of us got together for Leah and when I knocked on that person's door, they'd, they'd, they'd soon pay what they, what they owed in a nice way. Lindsay, anyone know anything about sports injuries? Tom, torn my rot rotary cuff. Uh, fuck, it's painful. Three different killers, nothing's easing the pain. The rotary cuff, is that the one in your, in your shoulder? Rotary cuff. Yeah. yeah, a rotator cuff here. Yeah. The the only things that I remember was holding a five kilogram weight out and doing like big circles one way, so and then big circles the other. In your joint, you've got a cartilage and you've got fluid, and sometimes there's no there's no fluid inside, and then your your joints rub, and that's where the pain comes from because your nerves actually get trapped because there's no like spongy fluid in the centre to to stop that from locking in and grinding. AMG's got the same thing Basically. for the last four years. So, PT is still not helping. Acupuncture can help because that that redirects the nerve um, tra trace. But really, I mean, resting it and stuff, or going to the doctor and having something done that way. Basically, you need, it's like when you've got when you've got like a bolt and the nut and you have to have a washer in between you're missing that washer so you're grinding that's basically what's happening and the nerves are getting trapped in between that grinding can't can they inject it the diana ball or something into the affected area they, they can but it's not it's not like a long-term thing it's very short term it doesn't stay because your body will start rejecting it Celia, I mean, a motorised wheelchair should be provided. I said this to her, she it, needs yeah. to get onto occupational therapy about that. Yeah, like occupational therapy should, should, should do that, and that's for any wheelchair user. 
Chris Bollock's been told it's a minimum six month wait for a physio or a yeah, scan, it's not full it's fitness care. From but... the it's transferred from the nerve, yeah. Six months from for a physio or a scan, you need it straight away. I'm going to have to wait that long for my hip. These fucking flies. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many jokes in my head. I'm not saying them. <laughs> oh, fucking bastard! Probably... I'm skipping. Thanks. Have a great evening, all. Says Jay. Cheers, Jay. Thank you for popping along, dude. Night, Jay. I'm so good on this live. <laughs> 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 so many opportunities I've just bypassed. Terrible. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Come Friday, there'll be no no holding. Uh, Joe says, are the show sales um, enough though, Leah? I think if if it, it costs a lot to do a show, doesn't it, for the small traders? So a lot of them literally just go to try and push their name out, um, and the, I don't think they make a lot. Yeah, I'm trying. They say because I am too big for a normal one, they can't provide one. Basically, she doesn't want to do the paperwork. So waiting for the doctor's referral to kick them off the head, but but they should they should just have them. They should have them there ready, shouldn't they? The same though with the occupational therapy here. As soon as Leo was diagnosed, they discharged him. How much are the tables at the shows to exhibit? Are they what are they thirty thirty five pound a table? I think thirty eight quid. Not thirty eight thirty eight pound now. Yeah, well, somebody's making money, aren't they? <laughs> well, yeah, so we. <laughs> Bird Farm sent you a friend request. Who the fuck is Bird Farm? I remember what you bought this for. Enclosures? No. What? To fill the gap in the front door that they left. I didn't buy that. They gave it me. That explains it. Because they left a gap in the front door. Because they left the gap in the front door when they did the front door. More on. Expanded with home. Uh, just planning for the future, says Arachnophoria. It's a long, drawn out process. Get motorized chair. Is your next giveaway after 10k going to be Christmas? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It, I struggle to look forward when it comes to ch channel stuff, but if I ever hit 15, I'll do one at 15, then one at 20. But at the moment, as it stands, we, do, we will be doing another giveaway Christmas Day for sure. Christmas Christmas evening live stream giveaway we shall if do. If he's still alive. Yeah. If Tyra hasn't killed me by that point. I've never been to a show. Is it that expensive? Six quid on the door, Joe. Um, but, yeah, that's it. And then whatever you purchase while you're there. But like I said, at the, at the shows, everything's cheaper. Even court bars are cheaper. Substrates are cheaper. Take cash, not plastic. Yeah, do not take a credit deep. card. <laughs> if you take a credit card, you'll be paying that off for the next two years. <laughs> well, I go around and I'm like, I'm done. And then I go, oh, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, Leah, we did, a, we did a bit earlier on. Um, Ling, would you mind? Just getting the list out and going over the prizes again for next week. Uh, yes. I'm just getting it out now. Oh, nice one, Charlotte. Appreciate that. Show this to Leah. IHS show tables are fifty-five pound. Fucking hell, they're making some money, aren't they? Jeez. So we have. Remember that, Leah. 
So we have from Helen, we have some locusts. We have Jeremy's Wild World. We have five rubber duckies, which is a collection from Capital Show. We have Re Rebel Regis. We have a, now Scott's probably going to have to explain what this is again. It's a Duckers Dungo Mushi. So the rubber ducky isopod, it's the, the, like the, the plastic kind of model of them. They're about this big. And I think they move up and down and stuff like that. So they're pretty cool. Uh, then we have uh, JG's cats, Jackie. We have Hissa Roaches. Tarantula Rookie, you can win one of his beanies. Johnny has put in some adult and nymph Hissa Roaches, which is picked up at Capital. Hannah has, I can say it now, Hannah has the Cunting Isopod Mystery Box. <laughs> uh, Amy's Night Crystals has a mix of inverts and crystals, including centipedes. Um, SS3D has a 3D mystery box. Silver Webbers has Cameroon crab slings. Eight legged A really long eight drink. Legged it's sat there for about 10 minutes drinking. Uh, Eight Legged Emporium has two H Polkopies. Unseen Universe, there is two £25 mystery boxes up for grabs. Two £25 DB... vouchers. Oh, sorry, vouchers. Uh, oh, DB has £50 pod post mystery box. Which is postpods.co.uk. Yeah. Exotic Enclosures is one acrylic tank. Uh, Spiderling and Chris. Uh, M. Albo Striatum, uh, Mark and Victoria A8 and Nano Wide. That's brand new as well. Show Bug Print, Jumping Spider and Jumping Spider Starter Kit. Um, Natalie at Afterlife Artistry, sorry. <laughs> As a tarantula dome. <laughs> DK's Kingdom is a wild teas mystery box. Jason Art is giving away a signed winner's choice drawing. His drawings Mark are realistic. They're fucking awesome. Yeah. Mark the Spider Guy, a Balfouri communal. Unusual Pets and Crafts, which is a £100 mystery box. BH Bastion, a £100 spider shop. Uh, in Poland and some juvies and Kevin Bigley, £200 mystery box, including something very, very special indeed. Oh, Phil says he can put a mystery box in as well. Okay. Oh. Uh, where are you gone? Phil, mystery box. Collect. Uh, he, so many awesome prizes. We, we, we haven't asked um people have just called forward which is just in incredible and i mean this community man the love in this community is fucking real drinking again it, honestly it, it it it's it's blown me away it really has fucking blown me away Leah says damn i should have gone bigger no Leah, that that's more than enough no matt that that that's more than enough as well um arachnophoria is going to add a 20 by 20 centimeter custom lid as well pass me one of the, the, the oh yes sorry arachnophoria 20 by 20 custom exo lid new style as well sorry that hasn't been added onto my little write-up list that's my draft so oh. yes that also that is some lid. really cool stuff that's the exo terra lid so obviously this comes off, so it's see-through. You can swap them out for different holes. I got a big nose. We know. Well, I'm going to do I'm gonna do a little video on these because these are flipping awesome. So that would be the top. Um, Luke uh, is chatting to his dad about what they're going to do. Um, Arachnophoria. Without without Chris, I can't get him up on on screen. Um, 
But yeah, Luke is, is chatting to his dad about uh, um, what the, what they're doing for the giveaway. Um, but I don't, I, with Luke, it's difficult because he does so much for the for the community as it is. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's just, yeah, I don't want him to think that he's got to go big or go home. If you get what, if you get me. That I'll oh, pass it back up again. I'm going to do a video on this one and the and the nano. Um, but that replaces your exoterra lid. So if your exoterra lid's damaged, or if you're looking at one on Facebook for like a tenner because the lid's damaged, you can get one of these dead cheap. But these inserts, they come with different holes, so you can have loads, you can have a few, or or whatever. Um, depending on what humidity levels you want in your tank. I am in love with them, to be honest. Um, we are going to be doing a little video on these for 100%. Good. Oh, yeah. uh, tarantula guy, blimey, was a test subject for arachnophoria. Yeah, so was um, tarantula-tastic enclosures as well. He's the one that linked us up. Steve did. Um, I, th I just think they're fucking awesome, <laughs> and it's it's great when people come forward with a with a product that's fucking ace. Do you know what I mean? And that you actually think this is pretty cool. I will obviously, if there's any faults or anything like that, point them those out as well, because that's what we do here. Um, but yeah, mum. Yeah, I get that, Scott. Luke does loads. Luke does more than people realise. He does. If I'm stuck on something, I'll message Luke. Or he's just he's just an awesome, awesome guy. Really nice bloke to go chat to at the shows and stuff like that. If you've got a spider, which I've had a few times, and I'm thinking I'm not quite sure what this is, um, I've dropped Luke God knows how many messages over the years, and he's always come back bang on. Um, and his, his advice on breeding, keeping, and everything is, is awesome. I personally think he he should um, maybe do a talk at BTS or something like that, but he, he's a little bit too modest, isn't he? I've got an Imeria doing a handstand as a web. Do you always just flick in soil this way? Hey, Osman. <laughs> Matt, tarantula rookie said they've had so much help from Luke at silly times. Oh mate, I phoned him at two two in the morning, and he's and he's and he's answered or one in the morning, all sorts. But similar to yourself, Matt, to be honest. And he is a very humble dude. Yeah, yeah, that is very very true. She's just been flicking soil, isn't she? Oh, maybe she's going. Maybe she's building herself a little web castle in the corner. Eh? My Imer has decided to web up the side of the enclosure instead of burrow in. But she's paired and she looks very, very far. She's just been drinking for about 10, 15 and minutes. She just had a massive drink as well, so fingers crossed. Getting into some random dodgy positions, sir. No, I'm going to have this and I'm going to bed. Well, oh. film mystery box would be a nice one. Anna Leah. They will be, they will be decent present, pre uh, prizes. Leah's hopefully picking up new stock Sunday. She's got some awesome true spiders coming. Russ says, are they available to buy? Yes, Russ, they are. Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah, it's still very new. <laughs> uh, where are we? Do, 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 
I'm pretty sure. Kiri is such a nice person. Customer service is top notch from Spa Spiders. Um, Leah says the stuff for the mystery box is going to be top notch. Stuff for that. Well excited to put it together. Oh, awesome. Ragnophoria website is not live yet. Um, I'll have more. When I do the video, I'll put all the details to how to contact Paul there. Um, but I am. I'm loving them. And the wife's just run off, so I can't grab it again. Ratnaforia, how do people contact you? Do, can they contact you on Instagram or, or what? Yes, Osman. Sorry, dude. I missed that completely. Osman says, can I put something in giveaway, Ginger Cunt? <laughs> <laughs> course brother absolutely Whoa. oh it's because it's on It's because it's on top chat, not... Oh, my God. Osman. Has Osman oh. just added as well? OC Tarantulas, Osman, £50 spending at Spa Spiders. Nice. Thanks, Oz. <sighs> OC Tarantulas. Slipping out. That's incredible. Osman is a top guy, says rookie. A8 says OC explanation wise. Osman's just showing the love back to, to Matt there. Hello, I need Nicola. to get better at all this social media stuff, says Arachnophoria. It comes, dude, it comes. Hey, Nicola, you okay? Yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little bit taken back to to how much people have just put in. Um, obviously, I've got, I've got the juvie female um, heart bacteria pulcher bits, pulcher peas to put in, which will be a collection a collection from any of the invert shows or posted. Oh, oh wow! And Matt's just covered the postage on that 50 quid as well. Ling. Hello, Ling. 50 at Spark. Luke's postage, so the person didn't lose. Nice. And Matt's covering the postage. That. Right. I'm writing it. I'm writing things to you. Can you not see your oh. notifications? No. Yes. Ish. <laughs> Oh. I get a bit. I get a bit shell shocked. I'm like, what? What? How do you thank people? Do you know what I mean? I'm trying that, to take notes like a good PA here. 
That is. Right, so that's good. I, I can't, I can't thank everybody enough. On, on, honestly, it, the, the the community, this community man, is just. <laughs> it's an old laptop, man. <laughs> I bought, I bought this laptop second hand six years ago. I don't know. It must be fifteen year old, maybe twenty. <laughs> That's why I can't stream on it no more because he's just not having it. <laughs> no thanks needed from anyone, Scott. People do it because they want to. Trashed it. Yeah, I would Little knob. No, that's a lie, actually, Cookie. He forced me. He forced me. <laughs> hey, Scouser. <laughs> Leah says, Scott, we've been mates since the start. Well, proud of how far you've got. Cheers, Leah. I think I think we were we were friends before I started YouTube, weren't we? And had some when I first started, I got hit a thousand subscribers and had some rough rough time. And uh, Leah was there. That was probably six years ago. Ow. <laughs> The journey's been a bit, been a bit crazy, to be honest. Yes, you were, yeah. And then my first video, I was just like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, the clicking. That's my hip. Oh. Oh, anytime right before it. If if somebody's got a real good good product that could change the hobby yeah i'm gonna push it all day long you guys got me into youtube in, and this whole community will will always support everyone here as thanks for that what what i will say is there's not one channel or one person that 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 fronts the community either we front it as a team we front it all together um we and we should all go forward uh, as as a team together if you if you if you get what i'm saying i'm still running away with tara though <laughs> <laughs> lindsay Cara carol says when is the 10k giveaway i missed the beginning of the live a week today lindsay so we're going to start at eight o'clock next week Hopefully, again, the, the the first prize out by about quarter past eight, and and then go from there. So it will probably be a, it will be a long evening. I would have thought, and whatever yeah. time we schedule it to be ended by, I, I doubt it will be very by a long shot. Just be prepared to be up until about half twelve, one o'clock. I think <laughs> get cans of Red Bull in for next week. Chris will tell you to shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I start waffling, Chris will say, Scott, shut the fuck up. We need to get this yep. next one done. I want to go bed. And he'll literally yep. be like, what? Well, fuck it. Be right. <laughs> uh, Matt said, I'm working next week, but we we'll try and jump in chat when possible. So some of the prizes are UK only. So if, if there's somebody that could, enter that's not in the uk on matt's behalf that would be absolutely fantastic because he's 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 a fucking legend is matthew incredibly inverts and other animals you were one of the first on youtube to speak with me when i started and helped me in the early days might be up there at 10k with you in about 10 <laughs> That, Phil, was because 
I, th- I think I think you're absolutely incredible, dude. Um, the knowledge and everything was was phenomenal. And when you first started out, people needed to know. And and I think oh, I don't know, man. Yes, my head's disappeared. Oh. Well, the the it's. I think a lot of a lot of subs. Oh man, I don't know what to say. man has gone a bit. Feeling a little bit grateful. <sighs> Matt's got. I have a video to sort for tomorrow. I haven't had a chance to film yet. I know what I want to do, but being tied up with Connor being at home this week. I think. I think your relationship with Connor, um, Matt, and how close you you guys are, uh, has has taught me taught me a few bits, dude. Without you even knowing it, knowing it about like how you sh- how close you should be with your kids. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've took a lot from from that and your Facebook posts with them. Many legends just in here in chat. Happy to support you guys from the site. So- You're flipping right there, Mark. A lot of legends in chat. There's been loads, loads of legends in chat, to be honest. Yeah, it says tell Connor. Connor, oh, I said hello. Yeah, Matt. Ta- ta- I think I think we all say hello, hello to Connor, dude. If he if he's with you now, say hey, Connor. And don't that do any a sexy dude now? He's got a shaven head. My word, he looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now he's shaved his head. Really does. Uh, Lee, I wish I could be as disciplined with my channel as Scott. But I'm nowhere near good enough, so behave, behave, behave. You are good enough. Anybody, anybody can do what I do. Um, it, it's it's so easy. Honestly, if whatever whatever subject you're going to do YouTube in, just go for it. Um, and if you want me to whack it onto the onto the um, YouTube community post, I certainly will do. That light shade's ugly. This this light here does my flipping head in. <laughs> there was a bit what this light reminds me of. There was a Mr Bean um, years ago. So when Mr Bean was out, he used to fall from the sky into a light. If I don't know if um, if you all remember that, but literally. Yeah. That's what it's like sitting here. The beginning of Mr Bean now starts with. Really- Stood underneath that light, and I'm like, I'm Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> that light shade is definitely ugly. I just think we all need a ginger beard. Is YouTube your full time? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, I just had a short, to put it into contest, right? I had a short. I put a short out, and it got nine and a half thousand views, and it made me 9p. That 9p, I then have to pay tax to the um, American government, um, as well as um, paying um, YouTube as well. YouTube takes something like 30% of all earnings. Um, the majority of what I earn from YouTube, I'm not, and I'm talking like 95%, is literally from the channel members and donations. Um, because I'm far too small a channel to get anything from the adverts. From the adverts and stuff, it is it's literally pennies. Scott put fifty p on the internet. It's when Layla's in there playing on a game every now and again. I don't know what the fuck she does, but yeah, and it, and it's, the internet's normally pretty good as well, isn't it? Layla's not playing on anything. She's in the bar. Is she? Yeah. It's the second one this week. Well, I think. I think if with, with YouTube, when people, 
I think you need something like a hundred thousand subscribers to 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 finish work and actually live off it. But all that pressure, I don't know. I don't know if it's that's something I'd want to do. I think my hip popped out again. Because instead of doing what you love, you, you're suddenly doing clickbait all the time and stuff like that. And I'm not sure I'm into it like that. I just enjoy doing what I'm doing. For me, and I think for me, and I think um, Leah and Phil and Matt will probably relate, it's more about just documenting the journey. There's there's true spiders that I've had like five, six years ago that I can't get at the moment. Um, and of course, they don't live that long, but I can go back on the channel and, and, and check them out. Or also, uh, when the grandkids come along, I can go, look, granddad was cool once. He had a YouTube channel. Um, but for documenting your own journey, that that's more what, what it's about on our level. I'm only just starting out YouTube. Um, but the community and you guys are also welcoming and friendly that you make the whole experience more enjoyable. Helen's back. Hi, Helen. I um, think my hip popped out again. What? My hip. Uh oh. But yeah, like people are saying in the comments, the community is amazing. YouTube means fuck all, really, when you get to a show. Um, you're chatting to everybody and you see all your friends and all the rest of it. That, that's, that's just I that's the pinnacle of the hobby. I literally can't wait for Capital and just getting back to all the CFTN um, lot. So fun. So fun. Oh, yeah, that hurt. Matt says my videos are for two reasons. I want to look back on my progress, and secondly, because I love the editing process, oh, love the transitions, geeky stuff like that. If people enjoy them, that's a massive positive. Yeah. Bastion said hi via my mobile. He's still on way home, but he's landed safely. <laughs> and he can hear you, so shout him out, Scott. Hey, Bastion. Bastion's probably gone home for a rest. I bet his hips are killing him. And his arms. Bastion basically come back, come to the UK just to um, sort Helen out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't cope with the editing, Ricky, as you know. Oh my god, I had a full on meltdown, so I'm never doing it again. But the edit, the editing on on Coin Master is fucking so easy. Oh, I, literally cope. Did it for I you. could not cope. I literally had a breakdown. <laughs> it feels empty. <laughs> I would love to start a channel just because I do everyone's head in. Do it. Kira, do it. Start it. Yeah, I think it. I think you'll have an advantage with, with an Irish accent. <laughs> Bastion is knackered and he feels empty. Helen's like, I'm glad you've gone home, Bastion. I can have a rest. I've got my steps in. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite thing for Osmond's hoodie from being held to being on and the click building of shelves. Yeah. You know, Scott. <laughs> Three weeks in a row, you've asked Bastion to show everyone his snakes, and no one was allowed to see them. Helen's seen his snake. <laughs> Helen's probably done things to his snake we don't even want to talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck you know. Oh, Phil started because he was a board zookeeper with no one to talk about. No one to talk bugs about to during lockdown. We're fucking glad you started up. That here, Phil. He got he got his snakes out a couple weeks oh well, a few weeks back when he came on. That was pretty cool. We had quite a few people showing a lot of stuff that, that day. We had um, 
deadly tarantula girl come over as well. I've got loads of signed books through the post. They're actually really cool. They're actually really, really cool what she's written. I think Anton's got more than the books. Anton did get more than the books. I don't know. I don't I didn't quite want that that stuff. Not that way inclined. But it was still awesome that she like took it upon herself to send out all that stuff. I think she she appeared on Mark's Live originally. Was that last year or the year before? Last year. Not last year. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember Anton being well excited. Yeah, he was. I talked to her. I talked to her almost oh. daily. She's always messaging me. She's so nice. Really <coughs> genuine person. Yeah, I'm the same, Charlotte. Like reels and and <clears throat> just shorts are just my thing. It's just so much easier. <coughs> Dave, any luck with hearing from the airport? What's going on with the airport? Is that with this the centipede, was it? <clears throat> you got no chance. They need to identify it first before they give it your back. If it if it's still alive. Oh, is I he can't wait. Back to... over at the end of the month. Is that is he going to Capital Show? Will he, will he be rested enough by then, Helen? Scorpion and centipede. Oh, my God. I'd be on the phone to airport asking them if they're keeping them warm enough. I get a lot more reactions off TikTok and Insta than YouTube. Is that the same for everyone else? Yeah, I think, I think TikTok, you can really explode on TikTok, but it's... I've put it's stuff just on random, TikTok. random not, crap I put on there. Absolute random. It's not my main walking, thing, yeah. I could be walking in the woods and just having a hyper, or could be of my spiders, or me being a dick as usual. But I prefer, I enjoy it when I'm just being a dick because that's when I'm in my happy mood. That person that, that literally put the little post up having a whinge, he, he, he commented on TikTok. So I blocked him because I don't like him. <laughs> well, he, he blocked on Facebook and everywhere else. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's why the post is a little bit butthurt because I blocked him on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I've got like 250 followers on TikTok and 38 here, same content. I struggle with getting followers on TikTok. Uh, Leah says, what happened? Um, so somebody <laughs> somebody put a bit of a post up on Facebook saying that Scott's inverts, bad advice, um, centipede, wrongly identified, um, sort of about popularity and stuff like that. And it was like, I opened up a mystery box, and in the mystery box, there was a centipede which was species brown. So that's what I called it, and that was it. That that's all it was. So, but it, it's like I said earlier, there's a lot of things in the hobby that are still species. So why doesn't that same person complain about every single other person that spoke about a species? Uh, but I've had far worse, I must must say. <laughs> it, 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 it made a few of us literally belly laugh. But somebody, somebody um, an absolute legend, just put a comment um, and literally stating that, you know, things come into the hobby as species until they're described by taxonomists. So if you have an issue with a certain centipede, you think it should be DWA, maybe contact the correct people to get it, you know, examined to see if it is. 
instead of just a, a long toxic comment. Um, and that, that person also said like a lot of their comments are quite toxic. So Phil says I saw that post and rolled my eyes. See, I didn't see the post because they've got me blocked. Uh, but obviously, somebody sent me screenshots with rolling with with laugh my, with uh, smiling emojis and all the rest of it. <laughs> um, but it, it's the people that comment after him backing it up that I raised an eyebrow at. I was like, really? Okay. I don't think he was jealous. I think they were trying to. Um, I think they were trying to make themselves look smarter than what they are, and actually backfired. That made them look stupid. I do. I do sympathise with it. Um, I can't. I can't say why because I don't know what's public and what's not public. But I do sympathise with it. I yeah, yeah, I just think I just think some people pass judgment before they should. I'm friends with a certain person, so so he and this certain person, he's always whinging about them and it's like, really? Get a grip. It's like you said, I am off camera. You know, we're on this planet for such a small time. Yeah. For such a small time. Why, yes. spend, why, why spend it being so toxic and so nasty towards other people? Just yeah. be happy and enjoy other people. Be Half proud of your friends no for, for doing what they're, they're doing. Toxic. Half the time, no one even knows why they're being toxic. They have no reasoning behind it. They forgot whatever the, was. The actual, it was. just pointless, pointless shit. The actual video that, that you complained about was, like I said, an unboxing video, and I offered no care of voice on, the, on that centipede or anything. I just went, Ooh, what's this? Yes. That word, pretentious, it is, Mark. <laughs> the buzzword is pretentious. <laughs> Not on TikTok, because <laughs> Scouser ain't going to bother, to be honest. Don't like the platform. YouTube and Instagram are good enough for me. I'm not really asked how much success or not I have either. I think, I think what... The, I think with some people when you do youtube they think that that's your be all and end all and if i lost the channel tomorrow i've got so much other things going on it wouldn't bother me that much hmm. every time i see educating scouts i always hear the voice what's that comedian called lee lee somebody he's lee hilarious Evan? no ah oh, can't he's a scouse um comedian called lee something he's so funny is it lee smith maybe can't remember but i i just imagine that's kind of what educating south scouts sounds like but then i d lee mac is it lee mac uh i don't know yeah exactly yes Matt. it is cookie i completely agree with you that is 100 percent. yeah one hundred percent. That would be good, yeah. But still, if Tara is watching, Tara, why does it sound like it's raining in the bathroom? <laughs> no, no, not from not going out. It's not Lee Mac. Wait. Well, is it actually raining? Lee Jean. Lee Smith. He is called. He is called Lee Smith. Uh, is he? Strog says Lee no. Jeans. Tranchler Shelf says Paul Smith. Oh, yeah, Layla pulled the plug out of the bath. That's it's what it sounds Smith. like. It's raining. Paul, Paul Smith, Smith is fucking hilarious. Yes, he's so funny. Absolutely fucking hilarious. That's who I. That's who I think. That's how I hear Educating Scouser. But I don't even know if Educating Scouser is. Uh, what they identify as, so but I, that's that's what I hear. Matt, I'm very disappointed. I'm hugely disappointed. I might actually cry this evening. 
He said it was like, lovely weather on the drive to Connors at Friday until I hit Coventry in Birmingham. Then it was pissing it down. Dude, if next time, drop me a message and I'll meet you at Corley Services for a coffee or something. If you've got time, that would be fucking epic. Might even have to touch tips on the beards. It did fucking rain in Coventry, actually. Yeah, fucking rain. That's an understatement. It's flooded. Why is it always raining there? <laughs> the last the last three weeks, we've had fucking floods. We've had hailstones like marbles. Um, like half of Coventry had the hailstorms and the other half was sunny. It was ever so weird. Did you your head ache when it's like that. Oh, what time will that be, though, Matt? What time do you reckon you'll be coming past on Thursday or next week? <laughs> Paul Smith is hilarious. Ah, you're just as funny as him. I need to hear you. I need to hear you speak. Are you, are you in the group chat? Are they in the group chat? Oh, Matt. Nice one, Matt. Who? Uh, uh, no. I'm down as Silver Webbers. Could admin share my link, please, for Daryl? Oh, so you're coming back Friday. If you're coming back Friday late afternoon, I would fucking love to meet up, Matt. <laughs> Um, hold on, I'm just putting Silver's Webbers, Silver Spiders. <laughs> yeah, Strong, fucking... we're, we're running on Scott time, that's why. <laughs> what did he say? You said that you was going to shut down like an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> it was an hour ago. <laughs> you was like, Le it 10 more minutes, we're shutting down, it's been an hour. We're running on Scott time. Yeah, give it 10 more minutes and we'll close up. I'm a bloke <laughs> identify as a bloke, says Scouser. Old school and stuff is what it is and what it always will be. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to annoy you yeah. tomorrow. Sorry? I'm going to annoy you tomorrow. I'm Why? free now, aren't I? Because I've got nothing to do. <laughs> Guess what, Scott? <laughs> you you've got you got a massage tomorrow, ain't you? Yeah, in the evening. Oh, in the evening. In the evening. You're gonna annoy everyone. Everyone's gonna be annoyed by me. Toshi Twizzler. I'm gonna set myself little milestones to see just how much I can annoy certain people. <laughs> WhatsApp on fire and then link. Could somebody put the WhatsApp <laughs> WhatsApp link in chat? Can yeah, can can someone? How do we do it? Um I'd have to go off. Give me two seconds, I'll pop off screen and get it. <laughs> Kiki <laughs> I warned everyone that I was gonna delete and I accepted my fate. <laughs> I even said that I was one of those. I was a delete wanker. <laughs> I accept that fate. <laughs> you will be, Tara. God, the silence is fucking golden, isn't it? I can hear my own heartbeat. Oh, it's because I'm wearing headphones. Silly bitch. <laughs> it does, Cookie. It really does. You're going to Wigan Show or is it Warrington? Forget the land of the wolves anyway. So Wigan Show is in June, 2nd of June. Ah, am I putting is, this in, am I? Is my microphone all right again? Am I putting this in? Yeah, please. I can't do it off the phone. I can't comment on it's fucked up in it. No, I don't. If you're not in it, join it. 
<laughs> there is an offensive chat. Only join the offensive chat if you're not easily offended in any fucking way, shape, or form. It is the yeah. darkest form of humour in there, um, I and I can't stress it. that enough. <laughs> I will not have it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I already told Scott I'm stealing the room. <laughs> stealing that room. He's like, it's for everyone, Ding. <laughs> Join that chat. Come and have some fun. It is a really nice drama free zone. But it's fun. And yeah, you can't be offended and offensive. No. <laughs> It's pretty cool because even at like three in the morning, the, 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 there's possibly somebody about, somebody awake, somebody to chat to if you want to. Um, majority of people in there will also chat to you just privately if you need somebody to talk to, or if you want somebody fucking flies, if you need somebody to chat <laughs> to. Yeah, you'll be shocked, but don't be offended. And if you are offended, then. <laughs> yeah, move along. Go to the other chats. <laughs> yeah, the memes that you think are dark, times and my a billion, and that's what the offensive chat is. And the videos. The videos can be real sick in the offensive chat. Well, that's what it's there for. It, it it's for people like, you know, of a walk mind to have a little mess about. And if John Ling and uh Steve are all in there at the same time, fucking god help you. <laughs> But well, the general chat, the general chat, we keep it all good in there. Um, drama, we try and get, if there's any drama, we jump on it pretty quickly. Uh, get rid of it. Get on, have a word, podcast scouser. It's not memes. There's videos, there's memes, there's chat. Yeah. Everything about it, everything about it is quite offensive, to be fair. <laughs> Silver Webbers. Yeah, I don't click the videos now if John or Ling share them. <laughs> Night Earth Skating <laughs> Scouser. Yeah, no one clicks the videos anymore. Crude? Well, the 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 whole the whole community that we sell up there is for 18s and over. So I don't know about crude, it's just more of a fucking just a laugh in the general chat and just to meet other people and share pictures when you want and yeah. get get shit off your chest if you need to. It's pretty cool. And you'll get links to the other YouTubers that are there and stuff like that and all the rest of it. Yeah. Um, if you're at work, when you're at work, probably best to silence it because sometimes it can get busy, sometimes it's chilled and you don't hear nothing on there. And yeah, it, it's all right. <laughs> Unless There's you get a, targeted like I target some people. <laughs> no, I voice note them. <laughs> you can chat with a zoologist, which is Phil and Connor. Um so some yeah. of the stuff they put in there are like like behind the scenes zoos and stuff like that, which is pretty damn cool. And you'll see some of Connor's stuff that he's doing at university around animals, which is just um the last one Matt put in there was fucking amazing with a frog. Yeah, the wife's in there, unfortunately. <clears throat> and if you're female and you join the chat, if she gives you a side eye, do not worry. <laughs> uh, Matt, in summary, general chat can be like taking a dump that won't flush, but offensive is like taking the toilet and dropping a grenade in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bastion, he's back. That's oi, oi. Back. Oi, oi. That's what I can hear from him when he does that. Oi, oi. <laughs> Bastion's like, yeah, just landed, just at the clap clinic now. Oh, yeah. joke, <laughs> joke, joke, Helen, don't kill me. It's just a joke. 
maybe I should join if Tara's there. She makes everything better, says Leah. Leah, you should join. Even Scott. <laughs> that frog project he has, 2,000 at 3,000 word end of the year. This is that. Uh, Dissertion. Dissert Dissertation. Oh, Thank you. Dissertation oh. on frogs and the impact of CITES, etc. And it's fucking it's a it's a wicked it's a wicked uh, like post to read, honestly. It's wicked. Tell Bastion to stop writing and driving as he's listening through me. What? <laughs> ba ba Bastion, hook your phone up to the uh, car and then just keep the live on. Did you guys get married over this weekend? Was there a secret shutdown wedding? Maybe, maybe Helen's sister marched him down to the registry office. Gretna Green. You're having it away with my sister? Now you're marrying her, she says. <laughs> Scott, you need to let these people in. <laughs> They're trying to get into the group chat. One second. Wow, he's he's in there. He's letting you in. He's letting you in. <laughs> there's also like aquatic groups in there. There, like there's different chat rooms that you can go into within the community. So you just need to pick. There's like aquatic centipede chat room, zoologist gaming chat. So if you're a gamer. You can go in there and talk about all your gaming stuff. Um, there's also a pre-show meetup room, so you can find out where everyone's meeting up before shows. If you're going to go there the night before, there's things for sale in the invert related only rooms, and there's all sorts there. So it's quite good. It is quite good. Just, just remember, we're, all, we're not all in there all the time. That's the only thing. So, if any issue arises, just just message message one of the admin, and we'll come along at some point. But we can't, especially me. I certainly can't be in there twenty four seven. I'll lick, cough. I mean, look at your nipples, Matt. <laughs> if you get chat and then Matt's in there, just ask him to send the pictures of his uh, tattoos. Cookie Dude. is a dark horse. He is a dark horse. He is, he is a very dark, intelligent horse. And his jokes may over go straight over your head. <laughs> oh. They go over my head. <laughs> yeah, you, you literally have to spend about half an hour on his on his jokes because they're fucking highly intelligent. And then you go, yeah, yes, like now I get it. He's <laughs> like a Rubik's cube. I, I, I literally like buffer. You know when like that old internet you used to buffer. I sit there and I buffer. <laughs> I, I do for, for about an hour and then I'm like, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> vanilla. He said he's vanilla as they come. Every flavor goes with vanilla, so that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, well, just, <laughs> just, just, just join and you'll see. <laughs> Helen wants to see his tattoos. His no, tattoos you can't. You're married. Awesome. You can't. <laughs> no, my wife's in that chat. Matt, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Tara. Mind you, if he gets his body out, Tara will be like, uh, if you're looking out tonight, Scott, I feel in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> a fluffer. He could be your fluffer, couldn't he? The worker upper. The fluffer.
Wingman. <laughs> I've got a lot of time for Matt, I tell you. Hey, I've seen more of Matt than I care to admit, says Leo. <laughs> I think if the wife's going to go to bed, I think I'm going to give it 10 minutes and then... <laughs> 10 minutes, two hours ago. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it two hours and then we'll be closing the stream. This this is why, this is why Chris has to take charge. <laughs> on, the, on the giveaways, definitely. If anybody wants to cook, have I just put? I've I don't just know what I've, you put there. I've just put fucking Rebecca's link in again. I meant to put the. Invite guests. Tara said you chat shit. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> if anybody wants to pop up for 10 minutes before we end and come and say hello just click the link feel free to come on um no, nobody seems to want to come up anymore we're intimidating maybe it's me i think i think when we only had like 10 or 15 watching everybody had come up <laughs> that's all right <laughs> Oh, what have I clicked on the laptop now? Uh, what have I clicked? Ma, How do we get? Ma, ah, there we go. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Leah has seen me naked with just a microphone covering the bits. And so has anybody else who's bought that calendar. Is there any other channels that you guys watch that are not animal related? What's your favourites? I like. I like beer meets food is one that I watch a lot because it's about food yeah. and, I and I like that. You know those um those Asian men and you they go up they speed up their video and they literally dig with a bit of bamboo and they'll make a full swimming pool out of the mud. I sit and watch them all day. They make little hearts. They make swimming pools. Yeah. <laughs> they make slides. Everything. I'm like yeah, out of the mud. I love those. Oh. I can sit and watch those for ages. Leah loves Shane Dawson. I watch um, Beard Meets Food, which that geezer can eat so much, it's unreal. I watch Mr. Hughes. Um, he's just a guy on a farm that repairs tanks. It's fucking awesome. Partridge Cleaning, which is um, a jet wash guy. I'm sad and watch gardening channels and sewing in, but that's not sad. That chapter, uh, Mr. Balin, Disturbia, Anything, Crime or Mystery. Oh, you'll get a well on well, you'll get a well with the wife. She she watches every every CSI and all that crap. Oh, aquarium related uh, channels. Lindsay, do you watch Fanatic and uh, Paul Cafiero then? And uh, Hannah, yeah, Hannah watches carpet cleaning. Of course you do, Hannah. Oh, carpet cleaning is wicked. Yeah, but <laughs> and drain and blockers. It's Hannah. If you <laughs> Matt, Matt says I used to love Casey uh, Neistat, but now I watch a lot of podcasts, whatever, and also painting channels, uh, Ninjon, Squidmar, uh, Feral Painter. I watch, yeah. You look very tired, Helen. Hi, hi. 
Uh, Silver Webber's Power Washer game on the Xbox is great. Never watched something. The Power Washer game on the Xbox, I completed it and the add on. I did the pyramid. <clears throat> I did the full pyramid. Are you missing Bastion, Helen? Mm. Hello? <laughs> Are you speaking? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is ground control to Major Helen. <laughs> Helen, Helen, what have you got in your chin? A bit of bastion. <laughs> <laughs> it's his beard. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> <laughs> Dead man talking podcast, offensive chat members will love it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> What's the big stay on your headboard? <laughs> Cam, Cammy says, <laughs> Lon London East, <laughs> Tom, the taxi driver. <laughs> predatory fins. Oh, I love predatory fins. Absolutely love predatory fins. He do, they link up with Paul Kafira with the with with uh, the PC Aquatics, don't they? Kira, power washing game caused a domestic in mine. Apparently, my attempts at guiding ruined my other half's enjoyment of the game. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's so no big stain on my head. I told you, it's from the. It's a bit, it's uh, from his beard. It's like spot. <laughs> was that? Guys. I couldn't, I couldn't quite. At? We can't hear what you're saying. The internet's a bit rubbish. I think what she said was Bastion there, there, there and there. Something. Oh, but my. That little noise is proper <laughs> dopamine boost. What the fuck? Helen, have you just come on to show us all of the, the, the patches of whatnot? <laughs> I can't say uh I can't say looking at patches of sex we is on my agenda tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that sign. Where did he get that sign? Oh, fucking hell. Where's she gone? I've, I've got the same sign. Let me got see. It from the last show. see it. Let's have a look. I got one too. Chris got me one. And then I got Tim the scorpion one. But Tara's cleaned up and I'm not quite sure where the fuck she put it. Oh, it's over there. That's it. Chris, Chris got me one. Let me see your one. Is it the same? I can't. I can't remember it, who the fuck was it. Now they had tons of them. They've got loads. Yeah, they were opposite our CFTN table. At, uh, was it Taunton? No. No, I got got it from Barnsley. It might have. Was it Neo Neo Pet Neo Pet? It was one it of the was big the name reptile companies. Anyway, they were there and they had them. It was Taunton Show that we got ours. Me and Chris got our ones. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like two for a tenner. Well, they're good. When's she gone? I don't know. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm just there was a, um something on in the background. I had to turn off. <laughs> what? I think I've got something on in the background. Night, Phil. I can't, I can't hear her. Philip's nearly out of battery. So good night, Scott. Good night, Ling. Good night to everyone else in chat. I had no, your life going on. What? And now I'm trying to get the comments. 
So I don't know how to use this. And I'm on my laptop, which I've not used before. Yeah, all right, all kid. Make yourself a cup of chow. I can't do the Brummie accent. My friend Lynn used to, my friend Lynn's from Birmingham. And she used to go, I want some I want some gravy on my chips. That's all she used to ask for. Yeah, on a that's night out. Say that. well, gravy on my chips. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right, you. It, she had gravy, cheese, and on her chips. Gravy and cheese on her chips. It was fucking horrible at, after a night out. Oh, I couldn't think of anything worse. To congeal in your stomach. I'll tell you what's worse. Barbecue sauce and mayonnaise on a kebab. No. Chili the sauce kebab. and garlic mayo. Yeah, and AC. That's, that's it. Chili sauce, garlic mayo, or chili sauce and mayo. That's what you have on a kebab. Not fucking barbecue and mayo. Fuck. No. In a bomb? What's a bomb, Strogs? Super noodle sandwiches air fried. Ooh. What the fuck is this laptop doing? Is he... I have barbecue sauce and mayo on chips. No, Lindsay, no. Oh, my word. Chips oh. with a tomato sauce. Unless Tara's here, and then she gets she has mayonnaise on it, fucking everything. Super noodles and sandwiches. Do not say it. She has carbs on carbs. Yo, Ta Tara has mayonnaise on a bacon batch. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, I'm like, what are you doing? Barbecue Red sauce. sauce. Bacon batch. Red sauce. Well, brown. No, no, not with bacon. No barbecue sauce with bacon. Yeah. Oh my god, now fancy noodle oh, boy. Yeah, barbecue. <laughs> You have barbecue and <laughs> you have barbecue and bacon on a pizza. <laughs> yeah. Uh, salad cream on a Sunday roast. That's uh, not right. Uh, up north, they call a bread roll a balm. Well, they did when I went to Manchester. Uh, in in Burnley, they call batch. them tea cakes. In Burnley, is... they call them tea ca cakes because my step. Grandmother asked me if I wanted a bacon tea cake, and I was like, "No, I fucking do not want a fucking tea cake with bacon in it." <laughs> <laughs> fucking raisins and shit. Link said once that the way to her heart was to provide super noodles like a trail to the loving room, rather than roses. She's in denial. Fine, <laughs> Cookie, I shall try your carbs on carbs, soggy, moist mess. <laughs> it just sounds <laughs> vile, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it just sounds disgusting. I could even just imagine the soggy, gunky texture of the bread. Like, ugh. Can't be doing it. Anytime, James. More than welcome. Can right, people. Are you on the screen? Sorry? Can Bastion see you on the screen? Is he talking to me? Sorry. <laughs> 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 I forgot I had my I forgot I had my AirPod in. <laughs> Carry on, Scott. <laughs> right, yeah. On, uh, <laughs> on that note, we're going to say good night. It's midnight. Um, <laughs> we've been here from the beginning. Thank you so much for putting up with me for so long. Really, really do appreciate it. For people that come up and join, thank you very, 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 very much. Really, really appreciate your time. Um, next week. We are going to be doing the the giveaway, the 10K. I still can't believe I'm saying it. 10K giveaway live stream. Um, so you're going to have to obviously be subscribing to the channel. And then um, away we go on 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 Tuesday. But it is Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> Tuesday of next week. It's now I Wednesday. Know. I know. I'm pulling your leg from the messages on um, WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> but what i'm gonna do i think um probably with, with chris 
Um, I want when we do Chris and Ling's giveaway, I'm going to ask for people to subscribe to Chris's channel and go on his is. I think he, he's only got live streams on there. Go on his last live stream and, and and call him a plank or something. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, not me. Uh, <laughs> that's Robbie donated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I say, but I am going to do something, something, you know, it's just something silly with Chris, I think, for that one. Uh, but, yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. But, yeah, anyway, we shall see you on... Thursday, 7 p.m. for the video on those exoterra lids. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday, so that is either Leah or Matt's live. Hopefully one of them can let me know in the comments in a minute. And then... Um, no, it's a dream catcher. <laughs> Jackie, Jackie sometimes goes live on a Thursday. Um, Friday, Chris Zoo on Wheels is live, starts at 8, 8 o'clock. Um, he will be doing a lot of pairings. Um, Saturday is Mark the Spider Guy, and then Sunday is alternated between Unusual Pets, um, Mark the Spider Guy, and Phil, I think, is it? Who, who's on, who's is it on Sunday, Leah? Matt is, to, Matt is tonight, so Matt, Matt is live this evening. Tarantula Rookie, so hook him up with a sub subscribe. Subscribe to Unusual Pets at the same time because she is flipping awesome. She is. Oh, and then Mark, Mark Spider Guy is also live on Sunday. Where's the best place to get a mystery box from, TSS or CFTN? Go from go for both. Depends what you're asking. If you've got £100 to spend on a mystery box and you're looking at TSS and CFTN, go for a £50 one from both. Uh, Matt says Portsmouth is worth a shout, James. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I would literally look at both and then look at what stock they've got on the websites and go from there. Do you know what I mean? I found that, um, what they called now, <laughs> so many legs was good because I got to tell them what I had. And they said that they would make sure I didn't get a double. They do the same over at TSS, CFTN. Do they? Yeah, Obviously, they'll I do that. Like, that was about four months, five months ago. So I was kind of like halfway through being yeah. a beginner. <laughs> yeah, Spa Spiders uh, mystery boxes are by far superior. They are only at BTS, so. Andy is a yeah, decent yeah. seller too. Um, Kevin Bigley on Facebook is another one. Um, I've actually I've actually ordered something from Kevin, so that would be that be a video for Monday. Um, that should be pretty cool. When is BTS? Know. BTS is in. Is it the seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, somewhere around nineteenth of May? Is it? I think it was the seventeenth of May. Or did someone say their birthday was the seventeenth of May? I think Jay 18th said that. Eighteenth of May. Eighteenth. <clears throat> Cheers, Leah. Nineteenth, that's Tar. Eight, oh, no, it's the eighteenth. Tara, don't be confusing. <laughs> the no nineteenth. No, no, what the fucking date is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've just bought. I bought an adult female Balfouri from Kevin for like sixty quid. Um and a. Mm, might, might, there might be something else coming along with that and all. We'll, we'll see. Have you had any babies from your sex yet, Scott? Yeah. Yeah, Leah's had, had some. CFTN's had some. Um, yeah, Leah's had some. CFTN's had some. And David Little Beast has bought some too. Was that from the show, though? Hey? Yeah, have you had any babies since from the sacks? 
no. No. We've had the, the some payers to ameliorate the sack. Um, so we're just waiting on the H. Paul Crepes to hopefully drop. The um, Oimera hopefully to drop. Jurensis M2 is also paired. The Balfour is also paired. And the Marshelli is paired. And he, well, she is now borrowed down. So hopefully she's sitting on a sack. That'd be awesome. Oh, oh and the, I'm um, waiting for them Ivix, man. They need to move the, the, the Versicola <laughs> is paired as well. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I've seen that. So that. Oh, no, she's all off. Have you made anything? I'll have one of them off you, Leah. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Layla's just come in and she went, Mum said I can have a cream egg. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to end the stream. Thank you to everybody that's come up on screen, everybody in the comments. The community and the generosity for the giveaway has been absolutely crazy yeah hashtag spiders not humans definitely um thank you to every single one of you that supported this channel really really do appreciate you all um but i am gonna say good night um, what see you again on the next one <laughs> and on that note and on that note we are off. <laughs> Night, everybody. Take care. Night. <laughs>